Oh, hello, and here we are again. Hello, everyone. Come on in. Come on in. It's lovely to see you. Get, get your ass in here. <laughs> hello, my sweet Netherlings. Hello. Hello, Netherlings. Hello, Nether Branded. It's good to see you all. Hello. It's good to see you. I recognize some people who were at the ASMR stream earlier. Hello. It's good to see you. Uh, get on in here, you scamp. Get on in here. <laughs> Oh, it feels like forever, doesn't it? It does to me anyway. Honestly, time seems to pass in the blink of an eye, yet simultaneously it feels so long all at once. <laughs> I've missed you a fair bit, I have to say. I have to say, even though it's only been a day or two, it feels like a little while. I took all of yesterday off, which was insane. I've two two whole days off in a week, which is which is up there. But I went to a really cool museum showing Japanese woodblock carvings, which was really cool. Really, really cool. I got to see those. Spent an afternoon wandering around a nice little gallery looking at uh, 16th century, 14th century Japanese woodblock carvings, which was really cool. I, I enjoyed that. The intricacy is insane. The tiny little chisels they've got to use on there, like the woodworking chisels. Mad, mad, like tiny little needle sized ones. It's great though. Uh, it was nice. I got to walk around and be an arty little demon. But I hope that you're all doing wonderfully and that all of you are okay. Those of you who were at the ASMR stream earlier today have recovered. Okay, I, I know that I might have sent you on on a bit of a, a bit of a trip, a bit of a, a bit of a trip to the ER. But um, I hope you're doing okay now and that you you made it through all right. Because I I believe I believe in you. Okay. You've done, you've done okay. <laughs> uh, but I am glad that people enjoyed it as well. And if you're another branded or you've got a gifted membership, then heck, check it out. The VOD should be sat around somewhere. It's me being a goofy little guy. <laughs> but today, we're here to do some supermarket simulator. We're playing a bit more. We're here to continue our ruthless journey of near mindless corporate greed and capitalism, which it just just screams of you know just amazing stuff it's there two thumbs up love it love it <laughs> but let's let's head on over to the to the little to the little like, little gaming screen in a second shall we i just want to make my my little chat bigger on that screen before i shove you over you know do the behind the scenes things actually behind the scenes ones <laughs> ah here you go all right all right get, get, get over here get over here get over here Seracula, hello Xander. ASMR is very great. Have a good day. Why, thank you, Seracula. And there we go. It should pop up in a second. Sometimes it takes it a moment to, to figure out just what's going on, just what's going on where. It's a little slow on the uptake. Okay, give it give it time. And let me just pop out my chat so I can see you all. I don't want to miss any of your beautiful comments or faces or words or anything like that. Live as well. And boop. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I hope the bread harassers are not there anymore. True, true. The bread harassers were something else. So for any of you who might want to know, Incumart, Incumart has grown since we were last here. Okay, for those who want to recap, we now have one, two, three, three shelves, a mini fridge filled with beverages and a large fridge filled with more beverages, which, whoo, whoo. We, we, we're moving up in the world, aren't we, baby? We even have our own wage slip employee, and they're, they're, they're really happy to work for us. You know, he's, he's happy here. Look at him. Look, look, he loves working in retail. Look at that look behind his eye, filled with hopes and dreams. There's very clearly an unbroken soul in there. Very clearly. He seems amazing. He's overjoyed just to be here. Look at the enthusiasm spilling from him as we talk. That's our guy. Okay. Now, I think we need to order some more stock before we start the day. Blink twice if you need help, sir. He doesn't need help. He's got everything he needs. Hey, mine. Thank you for the five gifted, uh, for gifted members. Thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. Mine's spreading the love, spreading the good word of Zanny to the to the other individuals out there who who haven't quite got it to the ASMR stream yet. <laughs> oh, now the roast dark coffee. We could use a few of those. We'll, we'll add those to cart. We'll take some 
some flour and some some olive oil and I can't remember exactly what we needed but add some cheese as well uh let's say let's say pasta everyone loves pasta I want to have some pasta tonight actually uh, I need to finish off the rest of my bagged rice though because I said I was going to move on to like the big things of rice Ooh, pasta spaghetti remember have some spaghetti don't regretty we'll purchase these and we'll start stocking the store there you go get it get out of there yeah, 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 we've got the coffee, we've got the tea, we, we, this is looking good. See, at least we actually look after our store, like Ros unlike Roscoe. Roscoe just throws his stuff on the sidewalk, ruins the curbside appeal, ruins it. No wonder his, no, no wonder his, his place just gives, gives, gives low vibes. It's, uh, it's a low vibrational plane, you know, it's low vi- Oh, oh, it's cheese. Oh, we need to put, there you go. It's, it's, it's low vibrational plane. It's low energy. We can throw, throw it. There you go. It's low vibration. <laughs> Don't get me started on Roscoe's boxes. Oh, Boxco. No, no. Ro Roscoe and his boxes are a bloody nightmare. Like, I don't forgive you for being deeply triggered by Roscoe's boxes or his arrangement of things. See, at least Incumart. Incumart pretend to have some type of service. You know, we pretend to have some type of pro professionalism. Let's actually see if we're able to... Well, we should be getting a unit expansion soon. We should be. We pretend to have professionalism. <laughs> uh, and we've got our bagged pasta, which can go here. Our Pazidi pasta by, by Madame Pazidi. <laughs> our floor is nice and clean. True, we have curbside appeal. That's the trick. Curbside appeal is everything. Curbside appeal is so much. We've got our supreme, our supreme flower. Our... Uh, what is this? Naval, Navarro. It's Navalo, but I, I like Navarro more. Nav it sounds more like an actual coffee brand. Navarro coffee, right? And more of the stuff. You know, coffee's great. It, it always brings people in. It's a good, it's a good seller. We're going to get a back area soon as well. We're working hard. Incumart got inflation. True, the prices have all gone up violently. Incumart got hit with inflation, but that's just the way the world works, you know? Sometimes life goes normally, sometimes inflation hits, and, and you're you're having to deal with, uh, with, 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 with demons, okay? If you ever wondered, demons did cause inflation. It was all us. Uh, let's see. Do we need more oil? I feel like that's too much oil. We'll just leave that there. Everything is high quality. Reasons to buy at Incumart. Yes, reasons to buy at Incumart. It's clean, we have curbside appeal, and we even have an employee who looks really happy. I think I'm going to name you. What should we name our employee? Chap, what should we name our employee? What do you think we should name our employee? I feel like we need to name him. What should we name him? I want to name him something. You, you guys decide what we should name him. We'll order more cheap oil as well. We'll need cheap oil... Um, cheap oil, and oh, cheap oil and Susu. Bob, Dave, Steve, John, Poppy, John, Dave, Roscoe, Dave, Dave, David Kuhn, Gail, Bob. Some basic ass name. I, I feel like it's, it's going to have to be like a Bob or a John or, a, or like a Steve or something. I don't know. I feel you, you all seem to be erring towards something very basic. Can you imagine if my name was like Bob? If I was like Bob Netherbrand? <laughs> that would be awful. Imagine being Bob Netherbrand. I would actually die if that was my name. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Robert Netherbrand. Good to see you today. Welcome to Club Netherbrand. <laughs> Bob Kavir Netherbrand. <laughs> I would, honestly, I don't normally advocate for bullying, but if my name was Bob Netherbrand, I would actually understand being bullied. <laughs> oh, it would be terrible, terrible. Hello, everyone. My name's Bob Netherbrand. Good to see you today. I will drop this here. And we'll, 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 we'll start the day. We'll start the day and then we'll start ordering products as people need them. There you go. All right. Bob, you ready to start the day? Oh, yes, Sander, I'm ready to start the day. I'm ready to start the day, Sander. Oh, that's good to hear, Bob. Come on, then. Get to work. 
you do that. I'm going to I'm going to keep stocking things. Probably should have kept stocking things while that was going on. I love I love how enthusiastic Bob is. You know, you can really hear it in his voice. He's like, oh, yes, and I'm very, very happy to work. Yes, yeah, you see how happy he is. He's so very happy. I have to call me Bobby instead of Zanny. Oh, 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 oh. Physically gagged. Physically gagged at the idea of being called Bobby. Ooh. Physically gagged. And that's from a demon with, with a very, very weak gag reflex. Bottled water's too expensive. Ugh, oh, everyone's a critic. Fine, fine. Oh. Okay, let's 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 send it down to two dollars. 80. There you go. Consid look at that. It's practically giving it away. It's like charity. All right, we'll turn around. We'll do that. I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll... Okay, here's my dream. Here's my dream, everyone. We're going to extend... This is the dream for Inkymart. We're extending the back wall, okay? We're extending the back wall pretty far. So we're going to add another line of shelves through the middle. And then people are going to be forced to sort of go down aisles. I want to add an aisle. You know, that's, that's going to be beautiful if we can have an aisle. Look at this guy, he's buying milk. And pasta. And, oh, go on, go on, buy tea, buy, buy peanut butter. Oh, we, we need more peanut butter. We need, we need more peanut butter. Okay, so peanut butter, peanut butter. I love peanut butter. I've said this before. Actually, people were like acting like I'd blasphemed on my Twitter by saying how much peanut butter I eat in a week. But, oh, I go through like a jar of peanut butter a week, at least. At least one jar a week. I used to actually buy the industrial tubs when I was like more seriously into bodybuilding. I would buy the industrial tubs of peanut butter and they would last me for like uh, maybe two weeks, three weeks. It's so good. It's so good. I used to buy like the industrial boxes. Like, you know, the ones that you get from like the factory, the giant tubs. Peanut butter is so good. I can't argue. Yes. Oh, look at her buying cheese. That's right, buy that cheese. Buy that cheese. You like that cheese? Go on, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. You like that, don't you? You like that. You like that. You shop at my store. You shop at Inkymart, don't you? But you like Inkymart. Yeah. Buy my overpriced sugary drinks. Do it. Yeah. Good customer. Okay, so yeah, let's, let's do that. Uh, what else do we need? I don't know if we need anything too much more. Boila milk is too expensive. Ugh, it's three twenty for milk. Oh, fi fine, fine. Market price is two eighty eight. Fine, we'll drop it to two ten. We'll, we'll drop it to, We'll knock ten cents off the price of milk. Look at that. I can't find Labor milk six pack. Oh, we need Labor six pack milk. Oh, there is Labor six pack milk. Let's, let's buy some of that. Purchase that. I need an industrial box because the yeah no ch th th there are too many tiny jars of things okay we need to we need to stop being used to tiny jars of things okay, let's put this down here and I need someone to like buy a soda or yes buy that cheese yes okay so now she's bought the cheese we can actually go and put the this is a shelf oh is it just a regular shelf oh there you go. Have the have those. I think we've already set the price for the six pack of milk as well. It doesn't matter if they can't find the product. They, but they're still getting by price. Yeah, that's fine. We're a corner shop. We're allowed to gouge about uh, to, to stuff above market price. It's the way it's the way it works. Okay. I don't know if you've been to London, but all of those shops gouge so hard above market price, like so so hard, so so violently above anything near akin to market price like it's it's up there okay uh you yes you take the pasta take the pasta human take the pasta what are we thinking so far don't worry Zanny. when my standy arrives i'll put him in a big jar not a tiny one. Oh, thank you so much i'm i'm ready for the jar i'm i i look forward to being in the jar just promise that you know you'll put me somewhere warm and dry okay standees last the longest when they're left somewhere warm and like room temperature and dry okay so 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 do look after me Mainly because this is my first ever standee and I'm really proud of it. It's very cute. Dark roast coffee's too expensive. <laughs> oh yeah, I did go. Oh, 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 that market price really fell off. Oof. Fine. I guess we can just go with 1050. Oof. And there goes my high ticket item. 
What else do you need? What else do you need? What else do you need? Yeah, more bread. We need more bread. We need more bread. The bread lovers came by. Uh, bread, 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 bread. Four of those. There we go. Oh, and it's almost the end of the day as well. Oh, I think I ordered too much bread. There you go. There's one. I think I ordered way too much stuff. What is it? Is this all bread? Oh, we stocked way too much bread. Way too much bread. Um, uh, here. Put that over there. Uh, and, and, and put this over here. There you go. And what's this? Oh, this is milk as well. Okay, okay, we can... Does, does this milk fit on this shelf? Can I double it up? No, I can't. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Just, 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 just go in this corner. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No one cares about... No... No one cares about the big pie. Oh, goodness. We we probably need to, like, buy a storeroom because we're starting to get a lot of boxes of stuff. Oh, lights hit the lights, hit the lights, hit the lights. There you go. Yep, yep, yep. We're still open. We're still open. We're still open. We're still open. There you go. Look at this, Mr. Men in Black Agent K. Go buy your thing. I wonder what this man buys. I bet he's buying tea and, like, bread. He strikes me as a tea and bread man. Susu, you're buying sugar. All right, all right. I see. You're buying powdered sugar. I see. I see. Filthy little pervert. Um, let's get the bread to literally. For real, for real. This is stressful. It is stressful. It's stressful. Running a store is stressful. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, in, I'm a business incubus. I'm getting, I'm getting all that business. I'm a business incubus who does business. Here we go. And we need the choco cereal. There we go. And... Oh, we've got so much stock. We really need to open that back room. We really need to. We're ruining our curbside appeal by having these people come in and just see all of our product just laying in the corner of the room. This is awful of us. We're so terrible. And, and you don't even deal with the customers. No, I don't have to deal with the customers. That's why I hired this guy. He deals with the customers for me. I got tired of dealing with... I got tired of dealing with, like, her turning around and trying to pay for, like, three dollars of groceries. Three dollars of groceries, right? Three dollars... You tried to deal with a fifty dollar note. Fifty dollars. You tried to pay three fifty with a fifty dollar note, right? Trying to turn around and do that. Do you see? Don't just walk away from me. Don't just walk away from me. Don't just walk away. You know what you did. You know what you did. You know, you know what you did. Sorry. I hope you have a good evening. <clears throat> yes, we're able to hire more people. Soon we should be able to hire another checkout counter person and we'll speed through all of this. There we go, we're closed. <laughs> Help, it's getting personal. <laughs> Listen, she knew what she did. She knew what she did. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll look at expanding the store today. So we'll go with maybe like, because we could hire another one of these. We could get a spotlight or another fridge. But I would actually like to look at, uh, we've got bank loans and payments, but I would actually like to look at, hmm, maybe growth and storage is locked. It's $800. I think we want to try and get to $800 today. So what we'll do is we'll reset the shelving. And once we get to $800, we'll be able to turn around and actually start putting these boxes back there somewhere else. Because if we take another expansion on the store, it'll just shuffle the wall a little further back. And although that's good, you know, it doesn't really move me, you know. It's not really an Oscar-winning performance that moves me with its tears, you know. <laughs> uh. Oh, trust me, chat. Trust me, chat. There's been no profit, right? But look at how much product we bought during that day. We bought enough product to keep us going for a couple of days. So the point is, we've got a huge back pile of stock now. That's the idea. So we have more profit this day because of the fact that we have a, a large stockpile of goods that we haven't even opened. You see? So we've got the, sh uh, the place stocked for like two days off of like half off of one day's profit and a bunch of bread and peanut butter. 
and more and more choco cereal. There you go. And and we've got milk. Did anyone buy any of the milk here? Yes. There we go. And I think that should be should be everything. What's in this box? More bread. We've got more bread than we know what to do with. Let, let's go. All right. All right. Look at me. Look at me, Bob. You're going to do great today, okay? I believe in you, Bob. I believe in you. I believe in you, Bob. Robert. Robert. Incumart will be a success on your back, Robert. You and me, Bob. You and me. We are Incumart, okay? Look at this man. Look at him. Look at him. He looks like Aston Kutcher. He's going to buy things. I can tell. Go on. Go on. Tell me I've been punked, Aston. Tell me. Okay, he, he bought the high-ticket coffee. He bought the high-ticket coffee. That's good. We lose a couple of store points because of the fact that we have things a bit overpriced and we also have, uh, we don't have as much stuff in stock as, you know, is necessary, but it's good. We went for, like, always having a handful of products always on hand rather than get rid of that there, top those up. We definitely need to get this storage room up and unlocked, though. We'll go with... Do we have any of that fancy... Can someone buy the Choco cereal? I'd really appreciate that. Oh, we need to buy more soft drinks at some point as well. Oh, you're back. Look at that. Aston Kutcher's back. LMAO Zanny X Bob. Oof, as, if I, as if I'd let Bob touch me. As if I would let Bob touch me of all the people. It's like when people were turning around and shipping me with a random person that I that I mentioned in one of my stories, like Frank or something. I was like, how dare you? I know what he looks like. How dare you? And that's ugly on the inside. How are you doing, Bob? Are you doing your job right? Are you doing your job right, Bob? Remember, always shortchange the customer. They never notice, they, they never notice odd increments. Oh, this guy likes... Okay, he's going for the... He's going for the good items. He's gone for peanut butter. He's gone for sugar. Oh, he's gone for the big thing of milk. Two of the big thing of milk. Go on, sir. Go on. He's ready to spend it up. We'll just top up the sugar. There we go. And one more of the chocolate cereals. Good. Ooh. Leave that out of the way. People really like the coffee. Really, really like the coffee. It's good. It's good. I couldn't buy any coffee today. I tried to go uh, I tried to go to the corner shop near me to buy some coffee and they didn't have any coffee. And thus I must exist without coffee until tomorrow. Which, in case you don't know, coffee is like one of the one of the core food groups for, for Incubi. It's it's one of our core food groups. So if you're seeing me this way decaffeinated. Look at that. Look at that. Couldn't find an eight pack of eggs. Oh, we should look at buying eggs. How much for eggs? How much for eggs at the market? I go to the market and I buy a pack of eggs. This feels like one of those starter English classes, you know. Zanny goes to the market and he buys an eight pack of eggs. Order that. Am I able to mute the computer? I wonder if I can do that. No, I can't. Oh, well. Okay, so are we... Are we... Are we British and leave our eggs open, or are we American and we leave them in the freezer? We're American and we leave them in the fridge. Okay, good. If that's one thing that the Americans have right, it's the fact that they keep their eggs on, like, they keep their eggs cooled. And we'll put this here. Actually, no, we'll just leave that for a second. Uh, no, 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 we, we, we can put extra eggs down. Real, real, for real. Incubus runs on pleasure and coffee. So true. So true. Very real. Love that for us, bestie. We don't have any rice basmati, but that's fine. Okay, now we get to buy our expansion. We've never done this before, okay? We get to buy our big expansion. What did that do? What did, what did we just buy? Expand your supermarket. Oh, here's our storage. Oh, here we go. Here's our storage. Okay, okay. 
Okay, so now we can put stuff in our storage here when we when we don't need it. So we can put stuff that we have too much of in the stock into our storage there. And we don't have to worry about it. We can just sort of forget about it. So the store's grown. I'm hoping we can unlock this door between here and the storage as well. And then that can turn around. And we, we might as well keep this here for a hot second because we, we don't need that. Susu. Good. Okay, we can get rid of that. It's going to look like we took a big loss for today. But in reality, we got a huge profit. Sugar. No, coffee. There we go. And choco cereal. Oh, I didn't mean to put that there. Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay, okay. We now have four shelves of choco cereal. Awful for the brand, but, but great for the choco cereal barons. There must be choco cereal barons. There must be. There we go. And of course, this can go in here. That's our storage. Peanut butter. Oh, we need peanut butter. That can go on the top shelf. You like peanut butter, chat? I love peanut butter. Best thing. That can go in there. And it's more oil. Trust. Trust. Trust in the process. Oh, turn the lights on. <clears throat> There we go. Lights are on. Do we need any more bread? Yes, we do. People love bread. Humans love bread. They love their empty carbohydrates. They love them. Two left. We can leave this here. There we go. And that can go there. Nice, 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 nice. All right. And I think... That should be everything. Oh, the dark roast coffee is too expensive for you. Wah, wah. Typical. We spent 800 getting the storage. I'm already back to, what, 400 now? Just under 400? People love bread sauce. I am German. We have a comically large variation of bread here. Tr oh, what is that? Comically large variation of bread? I am curious. I am curious. Also, I saw a. Also, now here's the bit to, uh, that proves that I actually stalk some of you. I was at Dango's debut the other night, um, last night, night before. I was at Dango's debut, and I was I was hanging around watching it, and I saw a few of you Netherlings at, at, at Dango's debut, and I was like, I see you there, and I didn't want to say anything because if I said something, then everyone in the chat would have gone Zanny, 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 and I'm like, it's Dango's moment. I don't want to. I don't want to like steal from Dango's moment. But I saw I saw some of you at Dango's debut and I was watching you in the in the chat saying things and I was like, I recognize my Oshi marks in there. I recognize Netherlings in the wild. I see you there. <laughs> uh, I see you. All right, there we go. <laughs> OMG stalker. Hey, I can't help it if we turn up to the same places. I can't help it. For who? Uh, uh, Globy just uh, have just re revealed a, a purple boy kisser, so I obviously had to turn up and check them out in solidarity. Oh, Chair Bear, welcome to the Nether Branded. Lovely to have you here. Come on in. <laughs> so yes, Globy Globy revealed a purple boy kisser. So I was like, obviously, I have to I have to turn up and show a little bit of support. You know, put in put in that time, put in that. Oh, there are bills I haven't paid. There are so many bills I haven't paid. Oh my goodness, I'm late on rent. Ah. Never me, IRL. Never me. Never me. Never me. Never me. I don't wait until the second time the landlord sends me a message to send him his rent. I just feel like he has to work for it. Otherwise, what's he doing? Taking my money and giving me nothing. Purple blondes, yes. Alright, and... 
But of course, they announced, speaking of though, speaking of debuts and, and such related topics, they've, they've announced officially now the, the fucking uh, next generation, first gen, second generation FSP Avalon people like 20 minutes ago, an hour ago, which, woof, isn't that a, isn't that a wild ride? <laughs> we'll be having a whole stream tomorrow with Roscoe to talk about that, but... That's, that's that's an interesting one. We got another we got another batch of of little monsters inbound, so auditions are open for that. Looking forward to seeing who tries out. We'll add some rice basmati as well. There we go. I'm looking forward to seeing who tries out. Yippee, more boys! Indeed, indeed. There we go. Um, rice basmati feels like it should go here. Let's go gamble to anyone who's auditioning. Honestly, be best of luck to everyone who plans on auditioning. I'm looking forward to seeing what people what people bring to the table. Really am. Really am. Although there's another purple member. Don't step on my fucking turf if you're trying for purple. I'll break your fucking kneecaps. <laughs> but good luck! Listen, 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 okay, listen, okay, 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 I get that this, there's a set, there's gonna be a second purple, okay, there's gonna be a second purple, I have to, I have to solidify myself as the alpha. <laughs> Don't worry, Zanny, you're the only purple man for me, oh, thank you, keep it that way. <laughs> <laughs> uh. There we go. For all I know, the purple the person who gets purple is probably going to be really nice and sweet and like re like they're probably just going to be really nice and sweet and they're going to get shown this in like 6 to 8 months time and they're going to suddenly be really afraid of me. And, I, and I'm going to have to have such an awkward time explaining to them. No, no, I didn't. I didn't mean to threaten you. I was just threatening the concept of you. You know, I, I thought the, 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 the version of you might try and do that, you know? Imagine it's a netherling. You know what? If a netherling actually ended up in... If a netherling actually ended up in the second generation, I would be so happy. I would be so, so happy. I would love to see a netherling make it in there. Because we're already kind of a bit... We're already a little countercultural. And I would love the idea of us actually going all the way and managing to, to do that twice, you know? We already kind of went a little counterculture on the first time around, somehow with me getting into, into FSB. So if we went full counterculture to double up, that would be great. Zanny is the strict senpai. No, I'm the one that's going to try and get them to drink with me. I'm going to try so hard to get my Kohai to drink with me. I'm going to be like, hey, Kohai. Hey, Kohai, want to wanna, 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 wanna hit some sake in Japan? Wanna, wanna, wanna have a good time? Wanna have some fun? Oh, I know I'll be the bad influence. I'm already, I'm, I'm already the bad influence. It's just solidifying it. Hi, I pictured, I pictured you in 3D and wow. Uh, do you think I'd look good 3D? <laughs> I mean, perhaps. I'm selling product without setting its price? Where? Where? What am I selling? Who? Where? Where is it? What did I get? Basmati? Is it rice basmati? 740? Where, where's the product that I'm not that I'm selling without setting price? Um, 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 apple juice. Apple juice. Okay. Uh 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 not it's 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 three dollars. It's 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 three. That's the price. The price is three. The pr the price is three. Huh. Okay, okay. Actually, honestly, I pity the poor the poor designer who would ever turn around and have to design me in 3D because they'd have to do my wing and they'd have to do my wing from like all sides and like that would just be a nightmare for them to deal with. Absolute nightmare for them to deal with. 
Apple juice is better than orange, L IMO. You can leave. You can leave. The door's there. You can leave. I'm waiting. <laughs> nah, it's all good. You can like what you like, mostly. Until I change, until I decide otherwise. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Dude, I literally, oh, I want some oranges right now. Oh, you've got me in a place where I want oranges. Why is it, oh, why are the stores shut? Oh, I long for the stores to open right now so that I can go get some orange juice. I, I long for it. I, I desire it. Because the only place that's going to sell it near me is this, like, corner store, which is an absolute rip-off. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to deal with that. No, I, I just want orange juice. I love orange juice. If you could buy some bread right now so I could restock it and not have to carry this around, I, I'd really appreciate it. Go on, man. Go on, take some bread. Take some bread. Take some bread. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, sir. There you go. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for being coming to Ink Your Mart. Plant an orange tree. Oh, if I ever got my own place, I for sure would plant an orange tree. It would take years for me to actually get, like, an orange orange from it. But, like, I would love to have, like, trees that had fruit on them. Although it might be a bit of a nightmare in summer, you know, when they're, like, decaying and, like, bringing in, like, flies and stuff. But, you know, I would love to have, like, actual fruit and stuff around me. I'd love to have a garden. I'd like to have a garden. I'd love to live somewhere with a garden. Hmm. Oil? Do we need more oil? Oh, we do need more oil. Let's... Let's take a few of these. Put them there. That looks good. That looks good. We've kept the place looking very clean. Do we need more apple juice? I feel like people would have bought the apple juice. Did you buy apple juice? You did buy apple juice. Look at you go. Look at all these people go, rushing in and out, going about their busy city life business. <laughs> uh, Gardener Zanny. Gardener Zanny would just be Stardew Zanny on steroids. Couldn't find Kraftung flower. Let's, let's get some flower. Flower. Pick three of those. Only $18 to get a restock on those, and we can keep some for later. Oh, I want to cook tonight. I'm, I'm really feeling cooking. I'm really feeling like being a little chef tonight. There we go. I feel like these shelving units need a little bit of a redesign as well. We need to we need to move some stuff about. Uh, let's let's put the flower in, in in the back. I don't think people buy flour too often. There we go. Salt. They need salt. Okay, a few extra bits of salt. Salt, salt, salt. Internet is dying. Gardens are beautiful, especially flower gardens. True, true, true. Grandfather Netherbrand used to have a flower garden. Let's go with this and this and good. They are. Every <laughs> Everything's more expensive from when I was a child. <laughs> What is growing up? Couldn't I just have old... Can't I have adults pay for things forever for me? Why is growing up so difficult? Here we go. Into there. Into there. And we're having our last rush of customers for the evening. Oh, it's the doctor! Look at her. She, she's good. I like her. She's a doctor. At least I think she's a doctor. I've chosen to believe that she's a doctor. Or maybe a pharmacist. I'm not quite sure. She's one or the other. Oh, you're buying peanut butter twice. Oh, you're a big spender. Look at that. Look at that. $6.98 at each, each time. Couldn't find milk. That's okay. That's okay. Maybe we could we could get a little bit of milk now. Milk, 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 milk. There we go. We've made big profit today. 
Oh, we didn't, we didn't hit. Oh, 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 we've got a few seconds. Oh, oh, we can order this if we have quick. There we go. Huge profits today. Record profits at Inkymart. This is your time to invest, chat. If you haven't invested in Inkymart so far, this is your time to invest. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll cough. And we'll throw this in the storage. Go on, go on, take the stuff, take your stuff. The coffee continues to be a huge seller. Look at that. Store level's almost up to 13. What do we get at store level 13? What do we get? What do we get? We must get something at store level thir 13. I believe we do. Um, nothing from the bank, the loan. We don't need a loan. I don't think we need a loan. I think we're, we're already too good for the loan. Or maybe we should take a loan. Should we? Hmm. Here's a thought. Should we take a $3,000 loan with a 120 a debt? Oh. I mean, we could we take a 40? We could take a loan. I, hmm. I'm normally against getting in debt. However, if we were to take a, a $3,000 loan, right? We could expand the store twice over. We could, we could expand the store. And should we do it? Should we do it? Also, that's a beautiful image right there. Sunshining castle there. I think we've got income. I think we can take a loan. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm taking out a loan. Let's do it. We're taking out a loan. Let's put ourselves in debt to the bank. All right, I'm ready. My body is ready. All right. Mr. Bankman, we'll take the loan first thing tomorrow. Like, uh, we, we made like 600 in a day, right? So I don't think we'll fall behind on, on our loan payment, especially if we only have to pay, what, like a hundred and... If we take a $2,600 loan, right? We get 15 days to pay it back with a daily payment of... But then again, if we take, if we take a... If we take a $3,000 loan, then... If we take a $3,000 loan, we only have to pay back 120 a day for 25 days. Let's do it. Let's take out a giant loan. There we go. Okay. Okay, so we've taken out a 20... We've taken... Oh, it was only 20... Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, wait, that's the... Oh! Oh, so we only, oh, so we only got 2,000, but we had, we got given more, to, oh, we took out a really bad loan. Okay, so we just took out a really bad loan. We took out a really bad loan, but you know what? I believe in us. We got a nice, a nice section repayment. Let's, we'll start off by making the store bigger, right? Did the store get a little bigger? It feels a little, a little more, oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We got a we got an expansion on the store. Oh, that's great. I love that. That's a great start. Okay, we'll put this here. Okay. We're taking out big loans. Big loans for big increments. And maybe we could put like a refrigeration unit back there or you know, or we could take a bigger risk and make the store even bigger again. There. Oh, that's huge. There we go. Oh, baby. Okay. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Incumart is now, is now in business, baby. We've taken out a huge loan. My financial advisor is crying right now in the corner. They're, they're crying, shaking, uh, moaning, pulling out their hair, and they're, they're, they're going crazy over this. They're, my financial advisor's dying on the inside because of these decisions that I've made. However, they're, they're the, they're the, they're, it's the, it's the art of the deal. It's the art of the deal, everyone.
<laughs> it's the art of the deal. We're making we're making big risks for big gains, baby. Look at this. Big risks for big gains. I'm moving big increments. What can I say? Some people are made to wheel and some people are made to deal. Look at that. Throw that out. Look at that. Brilliant. We'll take, we'll take, you know what, while we're at it, we'll turn around. We'll, nope, nope, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't, I don't want that. Take, take it back. Take, take it back. Take it, take it back. Take, take it, take, take it back. All right, then we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna buy some more, uh, we're gonna buy some, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna pay our bills. And, uh, and we'll, 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 we'll buy some, uh, some storage. Um, where, where is, where is, where's our furniture? We'll buy some furniture. <laughs> this is so bad. We made a, this is such a bad mistake. Um, it's only 200. It's only 200. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll get that. And we'll, we'll put it in the middle. We're, we're getting here, right? Trust me. We'll, we'll put this, um, uh, yeah, like here. Yeah. Yeah, that that'll that'll work. Maybe a little bit more to the right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you like that, don't you? Yeah, here we go. Inc Incumart begins to take shape. And now the rest of it will buy stock, because we don't have any stock after taking a huge loan out. <laughs> We don't have any stock. We took out a huge loan and we don't have any stock. <laughs> oh, we took out a huge loan. And we don't have any stock. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. <laughs> listen, Bob. Bob, listen. Listen, I should tell you, you know the retail space. Bob, baby, listen to me, darling. Okay, hon? <laughs> Bob. Bob, uh, 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 hush those, the, uh, hush those trembling lips, okay? Hush those trembling lips, Bob. <clears throat> I want you to know, the retail space is a constantly changing and regularly adapting enterprise, okay? I can't promise you, Bob, the job security, Bob. I can't promise you that. <laughs> but when, when, when you're down and out, when you're down and troubled. And you need a helping hand. I'll be by your side. <laughs> Just Bob, I want you to know. You can lean on me. When you're not strong. And I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. <laughs> I'm going to pin all the dead on him in a Ponzi scheme. Alright, let's go. Let's, let's restock the shelves. Uh, 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 uh. Da, da, da. And that should be fine. We'll put some we'll put some flour here. And we'll take the salt. <laughs> Actually, how much how much should we be selling this for? I feel like if we just put all the products on the shelves, even if it's doubling up. It makes the place look full so people will buy things. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> He's thinking it's so Jova. Honestly, Bob's like, damn. Damn, this incubus because of his stupid financial decisions is going to make me file for unemployment. <laughs> this damn stupid incubus is, send is sending me to the unemployment office because of his bad decisions. All right, let's see. Average 270. I guess we should maybe knock that down to like two, uh, not 200, 250. 45. Look at that. I'm practically a saint. I'm selling this stuff for 45. I pretty much, I'm, I'm pretty much giving it away. I want to believe in Incumart's future, but now I'm not sure. No, 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 no. You can believe in it. This is a... Listen, every business has financial downturns, okay? If we make it through this, this, this venture, if we make it through these unstable and trying times, okay? We can turn around and walk out the other side with a hugely expanded store, 
lots of profit, and, and maybe even a couple of new refrigerators. Okay, we can we can do that. We can do that. We've still got a chance. It's not a hard. It's not. It's not hard. It's it's a little hard. It's it's difficult. It's 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 really hard. But you know, we can make. We can we can make it. We can. That 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 does not inspire faith. How I went downhill on that so fast. Um. We can still make it. We can still do this if we just turn around, and we realize that we've set aggressive targets for our loans. Don't, 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 don't pull out. The market is, don't pull out, okay? Stay in. The market is built on faith. In the investment market is built on faith, right? We're going to open Incumart now. Trust me, trust me. Today's going to be a good day. People are going to walk in and they're going to think, wow, what a big, lovely store. This place feels very spacious. And they're going to try and buy stuff. I can feel it. I can feel it. Okay? Maybe we should order another fridge. Maybe ordering another fridge will get us out of this. Um. Yeah, let's order. Let's order another fridge. I feel like ordering another fridge might help. It's it plunges us further into the hole. But you know, sometimes you in order to get out of a bad, sometimes you got to spend money to make money. Okay, you got to spend money to make money, and by that I mean we got to turn around and and keep buying things. Okay. Here you go. There we go. We've got so much product. The only thing we need to worry about is making at least 200 to 250 to 300 dollars of pure profit a day. That's that's all we need to worry about. As long as we're making several hundred dollars of pure profit a day, we're fine. And then maybe once we get a little more money, we can turn around and, and unlock a better loan. All right, there we go. I think we've got everything stocked. I think we're good. Oh, we... He couldn't find flower... The flower's right there. Well, that's kraftong, not the other flower. Oh, milk, milk. We can put milk in here too. There we go. See, see, we've got we've got the two little mini fridges. Okay. See, they they like the mini fridges. They like the mini fridges. I wonder what this neighborhood's like. We can probably leave Bob on the register for a bit. I wonder what this neighborhood's like. Do you think this is a nice neighborhood? This place strikes me as like a downtown sort of Soho type vibe. You know, this feels like the kind of place where people go with like families, but you still wouldn't go out at night. You know, I wonder what's around the block. A candy smoke core. A candy smoke shop corp. ATM inside and cigarettes and more. Okay. Not right here. Anything in here? No. Woodhouse Spa Center. Cool, 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 cool. What about... Oh, this is a narrow little street. This is interesting. Loki Food and Groceries. They're our competition. Look at them. They have CCTV outside. Is that going to be our competition? I think that's going to turn into our competition. And there's... There's another food and groceries. Oh! Wait a minute, can I take that? Ah, I see. I see. I see. It seems we have competition on this street. The dry cleaners. Ah. They're franchised. They are franchised. Zanny leaving to not be near the messy ma- No, 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 I'm the owner, okay? I'm allowed to- I'm allowed to be in other places while the employees do the work, okay? That's the- I'm allowed to do that. See? See, look, look, he's- he's doing good. He's being a good little rock star. Look at the little guy go. Okay, they- they're pretty much clearing out our shelves with all the profit we're making. Comte cheese is too expensive. How much is the cheese? Where even is the cheese? I don't see the cheese. There's no cheese in this fridge. You're a liar. There's no cheese in this fridge, madam. You're a liar. No, 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 no. It's all good. See, people are buying the salt a bit. And then and, and the coffee. Dark roast coffee is too expensive. Mmm. 
Eight, oh gosh, we have put that a little bit high, haven't we? Maybe we should drop it down to like nine fifty. There you go. We've taken we've taken a dollar off the price. Look at that, lovely. Okay, we've got people coming through. More money. See, we, we've already pretty much cleared the money that we need to today to count today as a success. Okay, yes, we spent thousands of dollars on a loan, but we can still uh, pay, pay more money off of the loan, okay? We can still make loan payments. We just need to make 25 payments of over $100 and we'll be good. Kind of. Bob, let me out. I have a family. Bob, you're not going anywhere, Bob. Don't get don't get ideas in your head, okay? Don't don't get ideas. Okay? He's read fucking Jane Eyre and he started getting ideas. <laughs> What's Bob's salary? Bob's salary is really reasonable, okay? I'm just saying Bob's salary is $80 a day. He gets $80 a day. That's a very reasonable salary. That's a like look at his look at his salary, okay? Like look at his salary. Yeah, $80 a day wages. Okay, that's a, that's a reasonable wage for him. Because he works from, from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. That's 12 hours. So divide divide 12 by divide 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 80 by 12. <laughs> wait, wait, what's 80 divided by 12? What's 80 divided by 12? Guys, yeah, guys, what's 80 divided by 12? <laughs> that's like Wait, is that below minimum? Wait, I think we're paying him way below minimum wage. I think we're paying him, like, way below minimum wage. <laughs> we're paying him $6 an hour. Oh my god! That's really bad. We're paying him less than minimum- We're paying him, like, half of minimum wage. <laughs> Isn't minimum wage in some places, like, $12? Or 15 or something? Wait, I thought eighty dollars a day was a lot. Wait, I thought eighty dollars a day was a lot. I guess it depends on how many hours you work. I guess, but he works twelve hours a day. Zanny, that's not minimum wage in every state. And 12 to 15, okay, some places it's as high as $20 per hour, but 12 to 15 is pretty common in at least the USA. I... Okay, so, so we're, we're paying him way below minimum wage. No matter where we are, no, and even if we're in the worst bit of the US, which has the lowest minimum wage, we're still paying him below minimum wage. We... We've re... Bob, I'm so sorry. Bob, you're a victim of a system that you, that, that spans beyond you innumerably. Bob, I am so sorry. Store level, okay. $80 automatically deducted from the account. And then, can we go to our loan? There's our repayment. There we go. So we did good. We got off a... We're really low on a lot of stock, but... But I have faith in us, right? So what we'll do is we'll buy another shelving unit. And... Can we, can we put these back to back so we can start making aisles? We can. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Inkyamart, the soulless corporate entity you're okay with waking up to in the morning. We'll put it a little bit closer to the wall, actually. Put it, put it just here. 
Does that feel not too claustrophobic? Uh, that's a little claustrophobic. There, that, that'll do. And then we measure this up. Yeah, that's nice. And then we'll put these side by side and create a, a little walkway. You know what? If we squish these a little tighter together, we can create even more aisles. Because we, we, we want to sacrifice our customers' comfort at the, uh, at the, at the you know, promise of more profit. It's never about the customer's comfort. It's always about the profit. See? They walk through here. It's a little bit tight on this side, but we put another two of these together. We'll create nice claustrophobic aisles. I like that. I like that. Bob's, I maybe Bob's a child because like, okay, so hear me out here. There in 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 the United Kingdom, there are there are, there's there's like a, a salary that you're allowed to pay children if you're if they're working for you, right? And it's lower than what you get if you're an adult salary. In fact, it's why some places only hire children, right? So perhaps, perhaps Bob is a child and we're simply paying him children's wages. And, and that's, 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 that's why. Therefore, I'm not the bad guy. What? Oh, we need to take something off. There's strict laws on the hours that children work, right? I suppose, yes, yes. There, there might be some laws that specifically state how long children are allowed to work and under what circumstances. But I'm just saying, okay? Oh, Bob is very clearly a devoted worker. He works seven days a week. See, he's a... Bob's a capitalist stream. Bob doesn't ask questions. He doesn't want to know why. He doesn't ask about vacations, birthdays, Christmases, bonuses, taxes, anything like that. He sits down, he's quiet, and he works for the company. He's a company man. He takes his pay. He's happy for it. Why? Because he believes in the dream. He believes He believes in the Inkymart dream. Here at Inkymart, we were born off of one man's vision. <clears throat> wait, wait. <clears throat> Here at Inky Mart, we were born off of one man's vision, one man's ambition, one demon's direction. When you wake up in the morning, you need to know that the thing waking up with you, your soulless corporate enterprise, has as much passion about what it does as you do in your day. So whether you're off to work or trying to relax for the weekend, remember, we're by your side each and every step of the way. Inky Mart, your friend from down below. Be sure to stop by one of our stores and see the amazing prices and offers today. Thank you, Mart. Dun dun. There you go. <laughs> Bro, get this man behind bar. <laughs> what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Thank you, Mart was one man's vision. But the dream... Inkymart might have been one man's vision. But unknowingly, it was the dream of a generation. <laughs> yeah, I'm not investing in Inkymart. Invest in Inkymart or you don't love yourself. Uh, there we go. Listen, investing in Inkyma is self-love. Actually, there's something we need to do after we get this box. All right. Just top this off. We'll just get three shelves of Ron's sandwich bread. We might have spent all of our money on bread. But Bob believes in, in the product. Bob believes in the product. Got more Choco Bears. That can go over there. And I think this should just be yet oil. So 
We'll put the, the, the fancy oil and the cheap oil next to each other. And that should work. There we go, put that here. And... All right, we high five the sign on the way out, but we don't throw out this box. What we're not doing is we're not throwing out that box. What we're doing is we've opened the store and we're taking the box round the corner, right? This is where we're taking, everyone, this is, this is where we're taking the box. We're taking the box round the corner, okay? Past here, good day, sir. Past this corner. And all the way to here, to Loki Food and Groceries. And we're gonna, huh! yes, yeah, screw you, Loki Food and Groceries. Look who has a box out in front, who has a dirty front porch. There we go. Listen, I don't have to raise myself up if I can drag others down, okay? I can live my life as the lowest common denominator and I'm okay with that. There we go. And you know what, we might as well put this tea out while it's here. There we go. Anything else? Oh, the pasta, we didn't, we've got pasta there. Eh, we'll just polish that box off and, and add another here. The Pazidi pasta. It's not enough for me to win. I need others to lose. Yes. How much does soda go for these days? Three ten. Uh, fine. We'll make. We'll have the soda go for three dollars exactly. You know what? No, no, no. I'll, I'll be charitable. Two ninety nine. There we go. Two ninety nine. The soda goes for two ninety nine. Beautiful. Good day to you, sir. And I mean, we just need to make enough to pay off our bank loan, really, really. So as long as we finish the day with $200, which we should do easily, we'll just stand out on the corner and be like, Inkimart, open for business. Inkimart, we'll be like a sign twirler. You know, one of those, we'll do that. We'll twirl a little sign. Charitable. Yeah, just enough to pay off the bank loan. We need we need just enough to pay off our loans and also that three k loan. And I can't believe we ended. I thought we were taking a large three k loan, but in reality we were actually just taking a two k loan with a horrible repayment rate. But if we add more shelves, then maybe we can we can fix that. Because we'll have the back shelving unit be covered in refrigerators and then we'll have this bit in the middle be doubled up on each side so people will come in and they'll be like, oh, let's go through here and, you know, they'll, they'll be stuck. And we'll add a second checkout here, right? So I have two cashiers going beep, 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 one by one. See, we've, all, we've already made an, a, enough to cover the loan. The bank shol shoulder soda. Bob working his fingers to the z to the bone while Zanny's frolicking around the store. Yes, yes, this is this is how it works, is it not? You know what else do we need? Uh, we've got like bottled water. We got well, maybe we should get that farine flour, the fancy stuff. We'll we'll take some of the farine flour. It seems to be fancy. I believe in the fa the fancy flour. Let's take the fancy flour. Get out of my way. I need the fancy flour. Look at that. It's it's flour, but it's fancy. It's fancy flour. Uh, we'll, we'll put it somewhere. Oh, we'll do it to this side. Oh, there we go. The fancy $7 flour. Wait, let me... Let me just deal with this really. $7 for... Okay, let's, 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 let's change it to... Six... Uh, Eighty-nine. That seems like a reasonable, that seems like a reasonable price. Price, Yeah, there you go. Buy that flower. Buy that flower. There we go. Okay, we'll, we'll take this and... It's a top shelf item. You like that, don't you? You top shelf people. C 
couldn't find bottled water. Oh, we need bottled water now? All right, we'll buy some bottled water. We need bottled water, bottled water, bottled water, bottled water. Bottle, 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 bottle. Get three things of bottled water. There we go. And and where, where should we fill it? This is our drinks fridge, but we'll also put this in here. What I'm thinking is we'll have these two set as our drinks fridges. And then if people like take these two as drinks fridges, then we can we can just be like, oh, you know, it's, it's, it's bottled water. Or, nah, let's just put these wherever. I love bottled water though. I love it. It's so crisp and, and like nice and cold. You needed Antoinette bottled water? That sounds so fancy. I probably don't stock it. Look at this. I got a fridge just for bottled water. Hey, Dango. Is that Dango? Can I get an extra Zanny Delight? Hey, what is up, G Dango? It's good to see you. Come on in. Come on in, Dango. Hey, I was talking about you earlier, earlier in the stream. I was saying how I stopped by your debut. There we go. Flick this on. And let me just really quickly mod you in, in the channel as well, so that way I don't miss anything that you say or do. All right, come, come get, get, get your ass over here, Dango. Where'd you go? Where'd you, where'd you go, Dango? Say something. There you go. There you go. All right, there you go. Oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. I almost made that. I almost made that. <laughs> I almost... I I almost made I almost made Dango in charge of the channel. <laughs> I almost made Dango in charge of the channel. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that would have been the age of Dango. It would have been Dango Unchained. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Then again, there would be no difference. It would just be passing it over from one purple boy gets into another. <laughs> oh. I should have made that a tag of mine. <laughs> you should have. That would have been such a good one. Dango could have deleted your channel. Like, Dango couldn't have deleted the channel, but he could have deleted all of the videos and all of the VODs if I did that. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Dango? Good to see you. We're currently running Incumart. We're doing our Incumart best. Because here at Incumart, in Incumart, we do it better than the rest. Uh... No, but I was watching I was watching Dango's 2.0 earlier today. I wanted to like stop by and be like hi. Because I, I actually like finally turned around and waved hello to Dango during during his 2.0. And I was like, okay, let's do it. Because I didn't want to like call I'm always so nervy. Because I've been watching, um, <clears throat> listen, why are we talking about my debt? We're not talking about my debt, okay? But, um, I, I definitely, like, turned around and I was like, okay, I can, I can just wave hello. I'm always cautious to wave hello to people during their, like, second day, their, like, debuts or debut 2.0s. Because it's always a thing where when I do, there's usually, like, an immediate flood of, like, hi, Zanny. And I'm like, okay, cool. And you know, because I, it, it's it's a thing, and I didn't want to like upstage, but there was a moment where I was like, okay, Dango and I have already interacted enough on Twitter. I feel like I can just be like, hi, <laughs> and and just do a little thing, and it was cute. It was very cute. Also, I recognized a lot of Netherlings in the chat. Also, I recognized Dango retweeting my reply to him earlier. Saw your quote retweet, Dango. You were perceived. Alright, we la last few people in here. Last few people in here. I cheese is too expensive. It's fancy che there's no cheese in there, you fool! Okay, they keep saying there's cheese in here. There is no cheese in here. LMAO, feel our pay. Listen, I check in on all the Netherlings, even Dango, okay? I caught Dango confessing that he was a Netherling. <laughs> <laughs> Foolish mortals. All right, and we're up 700 for the day. Look at that beautiful, beautiful.
I'm probably looking for the Inky Mart, where we get where getting rid of the competition is more important than getting rid of debt. Ain't that effective? Thank you for the super. Indeed, you are correct. It's more about getting rid of the competition. Listen, okay, the way I see it, right? What I the way I see it is if we get rid of all of the competition, okay, then there'll be no one else for them to give their money to but us, right? It's the equivalent of if if, if I killed all of the other livers out there, then I would be the only one getting, I, everyone would give their money to me because I'd be the only liver, right? That's the way it works. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, and hey, I'm glad I made you happy, Dango. I really am. I really am. What are we thinking? I'm thinking we we spend today buying shelving units. Let's let's. Oh, we actually need to repay our debt. Actually, bank, uh, make our make our payments. And do we do we have any bills to pay? Do do we have any bills? I don't think we have bills to pay. Do we? Do we? No, 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 no. Bills. Yes, we do. We have rent to pay. Lots of rent. Lots of bills. Okay, that's that's enough. We can we can buy some uh promise. Of course, promise. Of course, darling, you know that. Now, uh let's let's get I don't think we're gonna get any shelves because we haven't got products to stock it. So Zanny would risk becoming the world's most wanted man. Indeed. Apple juice. Let's go with the spaghetti, rice basmati. We'll purchase some of that. There we go. Ah, ah, we haven't got products yet. It's not Jova everywhere. Everyone's saying it's Jova. It's not Jova. Not yet. We've still, we've still got some fight in the tank. We've listen. Okay, you can take the dog out of the fight, but you can't take the fight out of the dog. Okay. It's like seven dollar spaghetti. Who would buy spaghetti for seven dollars? I like to think that in the market we're positioning ourselves as kind of a Whole Foods, you know, not the store, as in the actual food that is whole, whole meal in nature, as it were, R right? Because I'm not allowed to mention brands, but <clears throat> we're positioning in ourselves in that kind of way, where we're we're able to charge obscene amounts for food that we're able to pass off as being healthy, but we really just include wheat instead of flour or gr or something else in there. Load some of this up. Oh, and load some of this up. Good, our bottled water's been selling like hotcakes. And this is just more apple juice. It's good. Can we just fill up the rest of this thing with apple juice? We can. Oh, I'm in the mood for fruit juice now. I really am. Even that is like 75 cents for a box of pasta here. Clearly you're underselling the value of your pasta. Clearly you, you need to be selling your pasta for at least, at least 10 times that, you know? You need to be selling it for more. Look at our shelf of milk, for example. Uh, we need more products. We need more products. We need more. What do we need more of? Uh, 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 it's susu. Uh, uh, oil. Uh, chalky cereal. We need. We need chalky cereal. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. We need. Mm. We can't afford this. Uh, what? What don't we need? We don't need one of these. One of these. How can we save twenty dollars? Chalky cereal. Okay, there we go. And we'll 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 tag this so that the day begins. There we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so we grab some of this, and then oh, not there. Did it? Did it? Did it? This is a this is a third shelf product. Okay, it's a third shelf product. Hey, 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 hey. Chalky cereal goes here. People aren't buying the chalky cereal like they used to. Why aren't people buying chalky cereal anymore? People need to buy more of that. Uh, oil. Okay, people are buying oil though. Not as much as they used to. Why aren't people buying things like they used to? That can go there. Um, more oil. More oil. Okay, we'll have an oil shelf here. We'll put more oil down. There we go. And what are you? Susu? Susu. Okay, we'll put Susu here. Bottom shelf. Bottom shelf. Bottom shelf product. There we go. More. More Susu. 
Beautiful. We've done it. Okay. Inkimad is up and running. I love you all. I love you all. Times are a-changing, but we're not going to get left behind. We're the last of a dying breed. Right? Our name's in the wet concrete. There we go. Um, uh, that's, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a $5.99 product. $5.99. Oh, that's $590. Not $59. No, no, wait, no. Wait, we may be. It's a $5.99 product. That's a $5.99 product. There you go. And what what are you going for now? That the seven forty? Yeah, there's a little bit of a gouge. Let's let's let, uh, let's go with like your six. Let's say seven twenty. Seven twenty. That feels like a reasonable reasonable markup for the product. Not even coffee dark roast, my good sir. Where is where is the coffee? There is no coffee. <gasps> We're out of coffee. Ah <gasps> ah oh, oh, um. Okay, coffee, 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 coffee. Everyone, I love coffee. Six hundred dollar spaghetti. <laughs> See, kind of reminds me of the bit from the Digimon movie where the person's ordering um, bread and like all of the systems are going haywire, and the person like you know, oh no, is it bread or, or is it actually coffee? I think they're actually buying coffee. And they're like, wow, that must be really good coffee. Like, and it's like six hundred dollars. It like, comes up on there. Damn, I miss the Digimon movie. Bob the worker. So <laughs> when is my lunch time? <laughs> all right all right all right good one bob i appreciate it we also have a rule against no role playing as well but thank you bob all right that was a good one for a one-off laugh <laughs> all right cheers bob all right you got a smile out of me on that one the cake mix oh it was cake mix or is it chocolate oh that must be really good chocolate i think that was cho i think it was chocolate All right, 100% Choco, 100% Choco, 100% Choco. I never watched Digimon. I was mega into Pokemon though. I don't know, Digimon was like a thing. Digimon was, considering the fact that Digimon was running at the same time Pokemon was, I'm actually glad the brand managed to survive the interbrand warfare that went on. All right, good, cleared the milk, that's good. Oh, ah, there we go. There we go. Sorry, sorry. I, I hit a button and I forced my smile. That's, that's the, that's my forced smile button. Sometimes when I feel a little bit empty inside, I, 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 I just, I freeze up and I just, you know, I look like this. It's the one where I'm smiling through the pain. I usually have to do this when Gail starts talking about his peanuts. That's the one. It's the capitalism simulator. Right. Can, can you spend more money, please? Spend more money. Spend. Sp stop. Oh, they're touching the bottled water in a weird way. There's no cheese. Why do you keep talking about the cheese? I think I might buy Compty cheese just to lower the price. You know, what, let's buy some Compty cheese. We only have enough to pay the bills right now, but let's buy some Compty cheese. Cheese, Compty, buy one, good, boom, bit of bam, 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 bit of bam, bit of bam, 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 ra, cha ta ta. Here. And now we move into here, and we go. Throw, throw that over there. We get the Compty cheese. Oh, three. Let's let's change the price to three fifty. I feel like that's a more reasonable price. There you go. Now the Compty cheese will no longer be too expensive. There we go. Okay, but I'm beginning to think that maybe Bob on register might need a helper, because he's getting he's getting really overwhelmed with the size of this line. Like, this is becoming a very difficult line for him to deal. The checkouts are full. They are. Bob, Bob, Bob. Oh, we really are moving. We're moving too many numbers. Come on, Bob, be quicker. Okay, okay. 
we're suffering from success. Indeed, we are. We're, we're Khaleding. We're doing, we're doing the DJ Khaled. We're suffering from success. Maybe we should take out another loan to, to, to buy another, to hire another person to work at a second checkout. How much is a second checkout? Let's see. How much would be a second checkout if we bought the furnishings? Five hundred. Five hundred. We could do that. We could afford that if we make two hundred dollars off of the people who remain in the store right now. If we make no, if we make three hundred dollars off of the people who are still in the store right now, we can afford that. Or if we make yeah, if we make three hundred dollars off of the people who are still in the store, we can afford that. Otherwise, we can just spend it all on product because our product's looking good. We'll get another set of shelves here and here to make the place look even fuller so there's even more product. See, there's still a lot of people. I don't think we'll hit the goal, but I think we'll we'll miss out on it a little shyly. Someone bans Zanny from taking out loans? Why why are we why are we worrying about why are we worrying about banning me from taking out loans? I mean, if we really think about it, you know, like really think about it hard. Loans are just free money that you pay back a little bit later on. Like loans are pretty much free money. I mean, look, you know, we've we've got we've got these people check. We might actually hit the goal. We might actually hit the goal if these people unlock from the from the little bit they're at now. We need to move the lights as well. Can we move this light? It's a little bit dim in here. I don't want to encourage teenagers to steal. Here we go. We need to rearrange our lighting. Can we move this here? And we need one thing in the corner. So obviously, it's teenagers in hoodies committing all of the crime in this neighborhood. There we go. I'll make my store one of those terrible places where they only allow, like, two children in at any given time. There we go. Yeah, that's good. I need the, the, the store to have the right level of Orwellian energy, otherwise Bob might start getting ideas about what his future is. <laughs> Mainly that he has one. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we'll buy like a third spotlight here. Just to go by the entrance. Wait, you don't know? In, in the UK, it's a very common thing where corner shops and shops that sell sweets near schools will have a big sign in like the front window saying only two children permitted it inside at any one time or all children must be accompanied or like uh, only X amount of children allowed per, per adult or something like that. Okay, these people aren't leaving there. Let's call that day. Okay, but we're going to see a huge profit. Look at that. $311 of profit. Wonderful. How big is a corner shop? It, it's small. It's small. Think of it as like apartment sized, but it's filled with the thing. Uh, pretty much in, in the United Kingdom, there, there is kind of a bit of a... I, I don't want to say stereotype because it's not entirely untrue. It's kind of a... It's more of a thing where it started off as an issue, but then turned into a blank, into sort of tarring everyone to the same brush. Where a lot of children who kind of come in in hoodies and like young kids tend to steal from like the little corner shops or slip chocolate bars in their pockets and stuff like that, you know? It was quite a common thing in my day when I was quite young, you know, you'd go into a place with pick and mix and you'd end up, you know, filling a pockets with like, with candy or something like that and then leave on the way out. I never did it myself personally, but it was seen as quite a common occurrence, but... Now they've kind of, a lot of stores never really dropped that belief and it's still a thing where they believe that children, if left unattended in their store, will just steal. Uh, let's take, take more farine flour and more eggs and more cheese and I don't think we need anything too much more, do we? Let's see. We'll buy this and we'll see. We'll see what the store's missing. Cheese, 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 cheese. Here we go. Eggs. We love some eggs. I love eggs. Beautiful. 
It's kind of like a bodega or a gas station stop in terms of like, yes, exactly, exactly, exactly. Dude, the corner, oh, no, Pick and Mix was a wonderful idea while it existed. While it lasted, Pick and Mix was great. It's just a shame that it went out of fashion. For those who don't know, Pick and Mix was essentially a, a large, um, I want to say an aisle of uh, candy in a store in these plastic tubs, right? And in these plastic tubs, they'd have like lids you could open and shut and each one had a little shovel inside. And you'd take a cup and there would literally be hundreds of different candies there. And you would take it and you would walk through and you would take whatever candies you want and you'd shovel them into your little cup and then you'd shut the lid when you were done with each one. And once you were done, you would take the cup that you had, the large cup or the small cup or the medium cup to the front counter and they would weigh the cup and then you would pay for the approximate weight of the candies. Oh, hello, hello. Oh yeah, no, pe people use their fingers instead of the, the, the shovel, but the, it was a genius idea. Oh, we have that in the USA. Well, that's interesting. It's an, it was an interesting experience. They, most places don't do it anymore. But if you can find someone that does it, it's actually quite nice because it's... Uh, I'm someone who doesn't like uh, particular uh, like flavors of candy that you get in a multi-pack. You know, the... Um, what, what are they called? Not the... the, 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 the what, what, what are they called? Um, you know when you, uh, when you get one of those like big family boxes and there's like always two flavors of sweets you don't like in them? Like no one likes everything you get in a box of celebrations. Like I'm saying a product name, but fuck it. The Dark Overlords can hit me with a spoon later. Um, like no, no, one, no one likes every, every candy you get in, in one of those big boxes, right? So the beauty of Pick and Mix where you were able to choose the, one, the, the, the ones that you liked, you know? There are online shops that do it. Yeah, but th there was something magical. There was something magical about going into the shop and, you know, and, and getting the candy there. Okay, we've got bottled water. We've got soda. We've got apple juice. Do we have orange juice? Do we have orange juice? Nah. No, 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 no. We don't have, we don't have orange juice. Uh, uh, near pomidor. Uh, near, near. Suka pomidor, uh, do 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 orange, orange juice. Uh, we need more of that. Sok, I mean suk pomidor. Nia sok pomidor. Go and that should be good. We'll put the rest up here. There we go, and the rest can go in storage. Yeah, look at that. I'm practically a I'm practically a grocery store ninja. language like i said i'm studying polish uh let's go with i sometimes catch myself trying to like learn names of things in different language in like uh it was when i was studying spanish as well i tried my hardest to learn the names of things in that language and just sort of begin to think in that language as opposed to like in english when i'm doing the things because i realized that kind of reinforces things for me if i can try and think in said language yeah yeah Okay, if someone would buy the Elo spaghetti, I would really appreciate it because then I can quit. not have to worry about having the spare box lying around. Black tea is too expensive. Oh yeah, that is pretty expensive. Why don't I drop the price to like 520? 520. There we go. That's a great way to learn languages. I did that with Mandarin too. Mandarin's like I don't know why I keep choosing the difficult languages to learn. Because I was like, well, because like my first proper attempt at learning a language is, is is Polish now because I have a lot of Polish friends and I figured I'd try and learn to talk with them in their language and just string some stuff together, right? And I, they're like, ha ha ha, good, good one, Zanny, good one, ha ha, come to us in like three weeks when you give up. And I'm like, okay, cool, cool. It's been it, like, I tried for three weeks and I'm like, this is really, really hard. I'm not going to give up because I'm, because, you know, this, this, mom and other brand didn't raise no quitter, but my goodness, they... Ooh. Like, it's like they chose the most difficult parts of all languages and decided to mash them together. Teas are always pricey. Right! Teas are always so pricey. Okay, can you work faster? Can you work faster, Bob? I need you to work faster. I need you to work faster, Robert. You... 
I need you to... Clear these checkouts faster, Robert. Maybe we should put a... Why can we put a second checkout? I'm thinking here? No, here. If we just have them mirrored, but then would that infringe on the line a little too much? We could move this to there. Yes, let's move this to here, right? There we go, that's nice, that's nice. Because then that also adds to the effect of the aisle. And then we can add the second counter here, but we'll have it on a 90 degree angle. So then, oh, that person bought a lot. Good. Okay, we need another $70 out of the people here. We'll, we'll do that easily. We'll, we'll easily clear $70 from those people. Okay, so now we're going to buy more stuff. We're going to buy a... Is... I feel like a mirror... Which side is the one that we serve from? It's the black side. So I'm going to buy a counter... Okay. And we'll be able to serve more people if we put this here. Here we go. Okay, there's a counter here. Check check out number number something's open. Check out check out Two is open. Check out two is open. Check out. Pay attention to me. Check out two is open. Check check out. Don't go to Bob. I'm here. Check out two is open. Check. I don't think I've seen anyone learn my language. Yeah, it's it's go. Yeah, it's worth the effort. Check. Oh, oh, hello. Hi, hi, sorry, it's, it's been a little while. 27.30, change, $2, one, two, and then 50, and 10, and, and another. Wait, wait, I gave you too much. Wait, I gave you too much. 260. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 there you go, there you go. Um, how do I, how do I uh, approve? Sorry, I'm a little rusty on the checkout. There you go. Thank you. Uh, there you go. Okay, I'm good. I'm a little I'm a little rusty on the checkout. I'm a little the sadness in his voice. Checkout two is open, dumbass. Yeah, 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 but we've grown now. There's more people. Uh you prick. He paid us with a hundred dollar bill. Fifty seventy one. There, take it. Aww. I'm from Poland and I'm always very happy when you say something in Polish. Aww. Dziękuję bardzo. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's see. I'm thinking that we can like, maybe if we squeeze these even further back, we can add it. Wait, how do the employees get in and out? The checkout's not closed, but we can squeeze. Yeah, okay, we can squeeze through there. I'm thinking we can push these all the way back. We'll push these all the way back against the wall, right? And then if we give our employees as little space to breathe as possible, we can add another layer in for stock. All right, you're buying something, right, dude? Right, if you don't buy something, I'm just going to shut the shop. He's lurking in the corner. He's being, he's like, Ugh. You know, he's a mouth, he's doing the mouth breathing. All right, okay, whatever, whatever, we're done. Look at that, okay? Next day, next day. And now we need to pay off our loan, which is fine because the bank loves us. We'll pay off, there's our loan paid off and our bills. And oh my gosh, we have so little money. Um, We, we have 60, oh my gosh, no. Okay, um... We have $68. Um, how much product do we have? We have like a good amount of product. If we restock with with pasta, we, ha we have like a good amount of product. I don't think this is the end by any stretch. If we just buy a good amount of pasta, this is what I'm thinking. 
we purchase a good, a strong amount of pasta, right? Because everyone needs pasta. You see, we, we, we put the pasta on this side as well. We just, it, the trick is filling the shelf space. If the, if the shelf space is full, people will buy it, okay? The pizzati, the pizzidi, the, 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 the benzinos, we just, we gotta get it. The rigatones, the pastas, the, 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 the Emilias, the, 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 the Anna de Contis, the, 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 the Leonardo DiCaprios. We, we just, we just keep it going. We keep it going, we just gotta keep it going, keep it going as it were. Gotta keep it going, just keep it going. Put that behind there. Okay, th this checkout's closed, right? Yeah, that, that, that one's closed. Ding dong. Uh, and then we go over to here and we go. Um, what else is cheap? What else is cheap? What else is cheap? Um, what else is cheap and takes space? Uh, bread is cheap and takes space. We'll take some bread. Yeah, we'll take bread. Uh, we'll just... There we go. More bread, more bread, more bread, more bread. Bread goes here. Don't you love bread, everyone? I love bread. I love wraps more, though. Wholemeal. Love wholemeal. Wholemeal bread is great. It makes me feel good, you know? I feel like I have more energy when I eat wholemeal. It's a thing. Apparently it's because it digests slower. It keeps you full for longer. I think I'm going to cook something tonight as well. I was thinking of maybe some chicken cordon bleu. That would be good. That would be good. I got some frozen ones. I know I shouldn't normally eat stuff from frozen, but because of the fact that it came in like a really nice packet, it should be good, you know? It should be good. It came... It, it was fancy. Maybe I'll put that with some vegetables. I got some vegetables I've been meaning to cook. You know, make a whole little little variety of it. Put it put it with some rice. You know, I, I feel like I need to I need to get eating right again. That'll be good for me. Bros rapping, bros rapping. Nah, that's Roscoe. Roscoe is like yo yo yo. Open in my store. It's like ink your mart, and I just want to know that there's no part of me which thinks I could fail. <laughs> uh, love Roscoe. All right. Um... Alright, uh, uh, we'll just open this checkout as well. We'll try and make a little extra money as we go. Look, I will get an actual rice cooker once I move apartments, okay? Once I move, once I move, I'll get an actual rice cooker. How's that? I promise you all, I will, like, fully deck my kitchen. I'll fully adorn it. I'll get all of the stuff I've always wanted, right? Because it's not like I don't want the stuff, okay? It's not like I don't want the stuff. It's just I've lived quite a nomadic lifestyle. I've been a digital nomad for a very, very long time. And now I'm actually having to get used to staying in one place. It's actually so strange to me. It feels like such a foreign experience. There you go. And 7.59. There we go. I did promise you. I did promise you. I'm having to. I'm having to get used to stability. Okay, it's it's scary. It's scary. All right, we'll just close that register really quickly. People are going for a lot of oil, a lot of soda. Do we still have orange juice? We still have a lot of orange juice. Susu, oh, you're going for the expensive flour. Okay, you're a high roller. Okay, you keep you keep working here. If there's a rush, I'll take over. Actually, once we pay off this loan, let me, let me see how much how our loan's doing. Can we make an advance payment towards our loan? I would like to see if we can make a, uh, well, <clears throat> early payoff amount would be 1760. We're nowhere near the early payoff amount yet. Oh, you need flour. We need some flour. Kraftung flour. Kraftung flour. Donde estas? Kraftung flour. Is it fancy? Is it? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh, there it is. That's the Kraftunga flower. I think we'll try and get a license for, for more stuff as well. I'm desperate for us to get a liquor license. I need us to get a liquor license. Just put the flower up here. Soon as we get a liquor license, we're set. Soon as we do. What I'll do is I'll make my profit by not IDing people when they ask for liquor. And then what happens is we'll become the place that all the kids go to when they want to buy liquor and we'll make a lot of money that way. 
that's what a, that's what one of the little corner shops used to do that I knew. They used to turn around and they used to nod ID for liquor, uh, liquor, and they would uh, they they that's how they would make a ton of money. And yes, that was illegal. Six, uh, seven, sixty-five. There you go. Boop boop. And five seventy-five. Gosh, I feel like I'm rusty at this. T. 520, giving no change. There you go. Wait, Chad, are you saying that Danny... Okay, we've had this conversation before, so I'm going to be really, really... You need a license for liquor. Indeed, indeed. So you need a license to sell alcohol in most places. Okay, the... The rice I get comes pre-washed and pre-portioned in bags that you can then boil, right? But I'm moving away from that and I'm getting traditional brown rice now or wholemeal rice. I'm getting traditional bags of wholemeal rice once I'm done. And I'm getting a rice cooker and I'm going to do everything, right? Oh, let me just... Okay, you, you, doing, you doing good there? You could get served by Bob, or you could get served by me. There you go. And that'll be 8.98. There you go. 8.98. Couldn't find Borlane milk. I suppose I could order some more Borlane milk while we've got the chance. Go to here. Products. Uh, products. Oh my goodness, I asked for... Ah, wah, 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 wah. Um, where is the milk? Oh. Uh, one minute. One minute, Incubus. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Do you want to tip your incubus? Remember, tip tip your tip tip your landlord like you would your doctor. Uh there you go. You know, we'll we'll just make sure to shut the the, the checkout whenever we go over here. Uh where's the Borlane milk? Did we did we buy the Borlane milk? Is it out there? It's not out there. Okay, we'll buy the Borlane milk. There we go. Closed after 9 p.m. Damn. Uh, yes, I will wash my rice. If I get, if I, when I move and I get my rice cooker and I get my fancy kitchen all set up, I will, I will, okay? I'm shaking my old bachelor digital nomad traits, okay? What can I say? I wandered around for so long after leaving the underworld. I got a little bit used to some of the, some of the less fine things in rice. Inkim right, Inkimard is looking really snazzy. Inkimard's looking so, so snazzy. Apart from these weirdos in the corner, they just... What is with you? How many are there now? Five? Four? One, two... Wait, one, two... But five. There are five people in the corner. You should all change. All right, all right. They're 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 not going anywhere. Let's shut the. Sh yeah, no. These these people are stuck. <laughs> these all these people are stuck. All right, good. You're good. Great. Love that. We still made a ton of profit. Okay, we still got to pay Bob's wages. We go to. Ah, where is it? We go to the bank. Here we go. Payments. We still have to pay that. And there should be under management as well. There should be should be bills to pay. There we go. 1865. Market. Mm, what am I thinking? I'm thinking. What could we do to improve this place? Could we growth? Oh, if we if we if we finish this loan, I'm gonna take another loan out immediately. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to take out another loan straight away. Oh, but we do need to redo all of our stock. Look at this. We're, the shelves are looking pretty bare. The shelves are looking pretty bare. We need... Okay, let's make a quick list in our minds of what we need. We need orange... No, we've got a ton of orange juice. A lot of bottled water. We need oil. Both types of oil. We've got plenty of pasta. But we need the oil. The... We've already got a ton of susu. Oil chocolate cereal salt okay so it's it's all the stuff that we don't normally get so if we go and buy here we go so we'll get 
chocolate cereal, oil, fancy boy oil, and... Let's take the soda. That should be over our budget. So what we'll do is we'll knock... We'll knock one Chopkey cereal off. There we go. There we go. Hey. Thank you, bouncers. <laughs> and let's go over to here. Yeah, we're gonna get more loans. We'll, we'll take out another loan as soon as this one's done. Because this loan has see, has been really manageable for us, you know? It's not a bad loan. It's a small... It was only a small loan of like two and a half thousand dollars, right? Which is a really manageable loan for us. At least I think so anyway. We did good with what we got. Um, yeah, I guess we could just put the three there, but that feels like a bit of a waste. That feels inefficient. We'll just put it there, even out the spacing. Grab that, put this here, more milk. Uh, put it here. We'll put the milk there, throw that there, grab this. Oh, there we go, more oil, that's what I needed. That'll even out the numbers, grab this, put it over here. The regular oil, um... I feel like I want to put the regular oil next to the fancy oil, but on a lower shelf, so people have to bend down to reach it. That's actually a thing that real supermarkets do. They actually put stuff down that's, least exp that's less expensive on lower shelves, so old people have to bend over to reach it, and they end up just deciding they want to buy the more expensive, like, fancier stuff, because they don't want the hassle of, like, bending over when their, like, backs hurt. That's actually a thing that, that, that regular supermarkets do. And they also put it at that level because it's uh, better for eye contact. Yeah, there we go. And that should be enough. Yeah, and also so the pricey stuff is more visible as well. Yep. So they put stuff either... So they put affordable stuff on lower shelves or if they're like... If the name targets old people, so they have to focus on stuff that's, you know, easier within reach. Or if their stuff is like for a more like general demographic, they put it on higher shelves so people's eye line aren't there. So if you look, when you walk through my, my aisle like this, we can make this a little more claustrophobic, I think. I think we can make this a little a little more claustrophobic. I think we can move this to here. Yeah, we can make that way tighter way way tighter there we go so when people are walking through the aisles do you see how all of your eyes are kind of caught here and here you see it's it's because of the fact that those are those are the prime positions for selling product The eggs are expensive. Maybe you should just get... Actually, no, the eggs are really expensive. I was about to dunk on you for not having more money. But yeah, no, the eggs are really expensive. I'm sorry. Let me fix that. All right. Eggs are expensive. The cereal's expensive. It's choco... Oh. Yeah. Fine. Fine. I'll round it down to $8.10. These people. Are you, are you stuck? Are you stuck, good sir? He is. He's the first of the day to be caught in the fly trap. But you, madam, you, welcome to Inky Mart. I'm your, I'm your host, Xander Netherbrand, and that's Bob. How are you doing? How are you doing, madam? How are you doing? Get that milk. Get that milk. Get, get, there you go. You want some chocolate? No, you're going for the cheap stuff. You're going for the cheap stuff. That's, 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 that's fine. That's fine. There you go. Buy tea. More tea? Get more tea. We don't have any coffee, do we? Oh, we need to order more coffee. Get out of my way, Bob. Actually, do we have the money to be ordering coffee? Should we be worrying about paying Bob? Eh, it doesn't matter. He's okay. Actually, we don't have enough money to afford coffee. That's actually really bad. We don't have enough money to afford more product. We need this to start selling really well right now. Uh, let's open this checkout as well. Hi, checkout number two is open. Checkout number two is open. Checkout number two is open. Madam, check, check out, check out number two is open, madam. Check, she's serving in the blue dress, but check out number two is open. Hey, I, no, 
You're stood in front of me and the checkout's open. Pay attention to me. Stop acting like I am dead. No, you... See, this one guy, this one guy. This one guy, you, you... See, you like orange juice, you're nice. Okay, you don't need a blue dress to serve, you're wife material. It's as if we can still hear Zanny's voice now. Right, they're just queuing in front of my checkout. They don't want to get served quicker by me, they want Bob. What's Bob even doing? Why are you so popular, Bob? You know, fine, I'll go check if there's anything in the spare product room. There's not. Great. Bob took my job. I'll just restock shelves then. They're all gonna think that Bob owns the store and I'm his shelf boy. That's what they're gonna think. They're gonna go, oh wow, look at Bob. He's such a fancy, handsome businessman. He's absolutely serving in that little outfit that he's wearing. Oh, look at him. He looks so good. We love Bob. Oh, also, there's that stupid little Zanny guy that walks around. God. He, yeah, he, 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 he exists. It's so nice that Bob took him in, okay? Check, check out is open. Check out number two is open. Check out number two is open. Oh, you look like a good, good responsible man. There you go. Change three dollars. There's your three dollars of change, sir. Ding, ding. Bob's revenge for not getting paid. Bob gets paid. He just gets paid below minimum wage, okay? It's a capitalism story. 2320. There you go. Couldn't find the Elo pasta spaghetti. That's fine. We're holding off on buying more product just for a second. It doesn't matter if people can't find stuff for a little bit. It's a low stock day. What we'll do is we'll wait till the start of day tomorrow and restock all of our shelves. That way we can arrange them in a really aesthetically pleasing way as well. Because I really like how we've got that corner there with the cheap oil on bottom, expensive oil on middle, choco cereal there, and then susu sugars on top. I feel like if we just made that perfect, we could do that on all of them and have like a really, really aesthetically pleasing store. Look at you buying expensive stuff. 30, 98. There you go. Let me quickly uh, turn on the lights for everyone. There you go. And if we just quickly finish off the stock here. Keep it looking full. And then this checkout is open. Don't worry about it. I'm still here. I'm just running around. I think I'm doing really good. Look at how good Incumart's become. Incumart has become really good. Like we'll add another shelving unit here, right? And then people can, and then we'll add more fridges on the back wall. We might move this maybe a little, a little bit down just so there's a little bit of breathing room that people can walk around in. But we really have this on lock. This is a really nice store. What we'll do is we'll add another shelving unit here, right? So people are made to queue next to the products when they want things. And then that should be good. Hey there, sir. What do you need? Two with card. Everything's on card these days. Honestly, seven, nine. Oh, whoop. Let me fix that for you, sir. I never, I nearly charged you 0.90 cents. You get one, two, three, four. There you go. You're going for the cheap stuff as well. Come back if you want to buy more expensive things. Otherwise, don't come back. There we go. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, look at you, big spender. 33, 48, 33 with the four to the eight, baby. 36, sorry, not, sorry, sorry. I've read your, read your six as an eight. It's two cents. What just Bob is the employ only employee in Oh yeah, I'm I give myself employee of the month every month. I give myself employee of the month every month. Every month non-stop. I give myself employee of the month. Like Bob works here and is my employee, but I give myself employee of the month. And then 260 change. <laughs> Bob's just there, like I hate this guy. I hate this guy. Yeah. 
You just love attention. Yeah, I turn around and I and I say that, you know, I, I tell Bob, hey, Bob, you know, I think that the employees deserve something. Yeah, it'll be this. Watch, watch this. <clears throat> Here we go. Hey, Bob, I've been thinking, that, you know, you've been a really good employee this month, right? Like really good. And I know that employee of the month hasn't favored you, but I figured that, that we do something for everyone here, you know? You really deserve d deserve reward for your hard work, for your effort, you know? And I think that I, I know just the thing, okay? It's something that, that I put a lot of thought and a lot of, lot of work into, and I, I think that it's something really unique, and I think that it's something you're really going to profit from. It's time that you were rewarded for your hard work in a manner that is befitting of someone who has been by my side through all of this is you. I know the sacrifices you make, right? So, so, I've had a thought. How about once a month we have an office pizza party, right? Right, we order like a $10 pizza from the place across the road, we split it, you and I, you get to choose one topping. Doesn't that sound great? Bob loves that. All right, end the day. There you go. <laughs> he gets an office he gets an office pizza party that's the equivalent of paying your employees fairly isn't it <laughs> there we go not the office pizza party one top red flag employers the reality of that pains me right right we go with the office pizza party maybe we give them a gift card to our own store for like 10 bucks <laughs> alright we'll order one thing of pasta and some tea here we go so we'll go with one thing of pasta then one thing of tea we got three things in here oh yeah that's that's needed so we'll just order that to start off with Hey, Bob, did you like your employee pizza party? Do you feel do you feel aptly rewarded and incentivized for your hard work and effort? are you are you are you overjoyed with this? Put that here. We'll take this off this shelf as well because that that's kind of messy. And I don't think we need any more Pizzati stuff there. We'll just throw that there. And we'll put the. There we go. That's nice. That's nice. And what else do we need? Do we need the... We need the chalky cereal. We need the chalky cereal and the susu. So we need chalky cereal. There's susu. We'll take two boxes. Chalky cereal. Two boxes. Oh, I added four boxes. There we go. So we'll add more of that. Because the chalky cereal goes here. Good. And we ordered two boxes of the chalky cereal to round out that little area. Beautiful. Put that over here. Susu. Guess it makes sense, Danny. Danny, I'm a demon after all. Look, okay? I like to think that, that, he, that he would enjoy a pizza party with me. I feel like Bob would enjoy a pizza. He gets one, to he gets one topping. I get to choose the other. All right. Um, that looks good, though. That looks sexy. That actually looks like grocery store arranged. That's nice. Um, milk, apple juice. We need apple juice, eggs, and cheese. Let's add that to the list. So we need apple juice. We'll just take one apple juice. One apple juice. We have milk. One soda. Another soda. Another soda. Two of those. And where, where was the cheese located? There was the cheese. And we'll add some more eggs as well. And some milk. Okay, this is a big order we're making. And it's $5 over, so we'll take the Elo spaghetti off of it. Okay, here we go. So this should... Well, it's in the street. It's in the street. <laughs> Don't let a car run over it. I know what they're like. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so. I'd like it if the bread was there, but what we'll do is we'll just leave the bread and we'll put the Elo spaghetti. I can't.
kind of want to order another box of... I want to order more bread. Just because of the... Can we order more bread? Just, just so I can move that bread unit? We can, okay. We're ordering more bread just because I want to move where the current bread is. Just put... Uh, screw it, fine. We'll, we'll put the soda here. This will be... We'll put the two, the Turco Cola there. And then... Bob doesn't get it. He doesn't understand the grind. Bob sees me every day, but he doesn't understand the grind, okay? He doesn't, he doesn't know the grind like I do. There's the Cola. There we go. You know, he's, he just, he doesn't get it. He might be here every day watching me work and working with me, but he doesn't, he doesn't understand the grind. You know, he doesn't feel the grind like we feel. Okay, it's why I'm, I'm the employee. I'm the employer and he's the employee. Bob doesn't understand how much work it is to run this business. He, he has nothing to fear if it goes under. There we go. Eh. And the apple juice. Yeah, let's put the apple juice next to the orange juice. And we'll just put the box over here. And the Elo spaghetti can go here. Nice. And we'll put the sodas. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Here. Yeah. Here. And that should be good. We'll put that, that there. I feel like we can ding the store door open now. Two of the milk. Take the milk from there. That frees up a little bit of space. Put that here. And the cheese can go... Yeah, I feel like the cheese can go in here. That's some good cheese. That's some good cheese. And the eggs we can round off. Do we have... Yeah, we have space for eggs. Good. Okay, this is lovely. Okay, it's cost us all of our money. Uh, but we've got a load of stored product, right? A, a, we've got a lot of stored product. And we just need to pay off our loan at the end of the day. We didn't buy any tea. That's, 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 a, that's a mistake. We should have bought tea. Oh, well. You know, I, mm, 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 mm. now I'm thinking that we should just fill the empty shelves. I'm thinking we should just fill the empty shelves with product because it looks better if we've got product. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll fill the empty shelves with product. We'll worry about making things look look nice another time. Um, I don't know. There, there seems fine. Uh, here, Susu. We'll take more Susu. Uh, we'll put it... Oh, oh, I forgot my checkout was still open. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, thank you for the card. Why are you making a card purchase? 4, 4, 19. That's uh, 4, 19. Sorry for making you wait. Have a good day at Inkimar. Okay, bum, 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 bum. How much did you pay? You paid with 100. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Um, 50, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. There you go. Pay, what? Money, 31, uh, 20, 10, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. Good. 1, 2, 3. You bought lots of coffee. I like you. And you're paying with card. I love you. 53, 18. These are looking strangely like real life prices now. Just close that real quick. Bob, do your job. Um, put that there so we have something to fill out the shelves. We open the, the second checkout when, when Bob gets a little snowed under. Apart from that, it's it's Bob's job to worry about the the checkout there. There's the Susu. We're doing good. Let's go, Zanny. The Netherlands believe it. For sure, for sure. And I thank you for your belief. I really appreciate it. Much appreciated. There we go. There we go. Then the bread the bread display is full. Put that there. Nice. Oh, the Choco Bears. The Choco Bears can go. Why are more people not buying Choco Bears? The times are changing. Am I wrong? No, the young people are in the wrong. There we go, and put that over there. I think that should be everything. 180. We've almost got enough to pay off. Yep, we've got our loan paid off for the day now. I wonder if we could take another loan soon to stretch out the store even further. We could totally do that. Bob's wages are paid as well. 
Nothing in there. Come on, go in. Yes. Is the tea going for too much? I wonder if it's not... Oh, market price. It's below market price. It's below market price. Ah, 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 ah. It's a good thing we caught that. Uh, five, five. It's actually uh, f five, five, ninety in this economy. It's five, nine. Oh, they tried to screw us. They tried to screw us. All right. Um, Elo spaghetti. That's fine. The bread for... Market price four sixty one. Oh, we need to raise that up. Make that four four ninety nine. That's that's four ninety nine, baby. That's four ninety nine. No wonder people are buying bread so much. We need to keep an eye on what's going on. Four ninety nine for the bread. Ooh, ooh. Look at that, everyone. Zanny fell to capitalism. Zanny x capitalism. Zanny x capitalism ASMR. Hey, capitalism. I hear you want to spend money. Hey, you know I'm a really big fan of uh, lowering my employees wages as a incentive to make them work longer hours do you like that yeah i'm sure you do something like that <laughs> uh. Capitalism, Riz. Maybe I could teach Roscoe. There we go. Uh, Boulant, 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 Boulant goes here. Oh, good. We've got an empty box again. Choco cereal. Is, is anyone taking more choco cereal? Yes, that's all the choco cereal. Um, the soda. We need more soda. Where did, where, who's who's buying soda? Did we sell out of soda? Oh, we did. They bought all the soda that was in this fridge. Okay. Um, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. How much? How much should soda be going for? Three oh nine. Oh, oh, look at that. That's actually three, three, three twenty nine. 340, 3, 3, 330, 3, 40, 3, 3, 39. There you go. And how much, how much does this soda go for? Okay, yeah, 195. We can, we can, we can lower that a little bit. We'll go with like 430. One. <laughs> it's a very precise price. Flick that on. We need, what is that? Is that an apple juice? Yes, that is. Last of the apple juice. Ooh. People are buying a lot of apple juice. Are we selling it for below market price? Let's find out. Brrr, chat. We're seducing capitalism. Damn straight we are. That's the only way we can get ahead in this economy. No, people just really like apple juice, so they're willing to pay through the nose for it. Nice. Okay, people are willing to pay through the nose for apple juice. Uh, you're, you're getting a little swamped. Ding dong. Second checkout is open. Ding dong. Ding dong. D ding dong. Madam. Madam. Good to... It's like a knife to the heart every time. Every time. You just want cola. You want the discount cola. And you... And you want the cheap oil. You must be a hit at parties, sir. I can tell. Real big spender right here. You know what? I bet you only tip like 3%. He buys off-brand soda and cheap oil. Oh. Two apple juices? That's like six bucks. There you go. You re you're really going six bucks on the card? There you go. Okay, darling. Get out of here. Get out of here. Bob, the strong and stoic type. We love Bob. We love Bob here. Double up on the milk, paying with cash, 80 cents. These are the type of customers I love. Easy transactions, easy numbers. I'm taking your tips, Bob, for whenever they come by here. 81, 50, 60, 70, 80. One dollar. 89, 50. 60, 70, 80. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
There you go. You can find Aolo pasta spaghetti. There you go. When they think you're waving, when you think they're waving at you, but it's actually the person behind you they're waving at. True. That's such a cringe moment everyone's experienced in life. All right. Neither of you are buying anything because you're you're stuck. So, broop. day twenty five. We've got some big income. We've done good. The Chopic cereals have gone down on the market pricing. How much are you worth now? Six eighty, bruh. Fine. Looks like we're dropping the Chopic cereal down to seven ten. Oof. Seven. Oof. Gouging me on the price of these cereals. Oof. What a horrible loss. All right. But what we'll do is we'll pay off our debts because that's what happens because the bank is breathing down my neck, baby. They're ready to take my kneecaps. Let's take 120. How much do we need to do? We need to go to manage to repay. If we were to repay this bill early, I feel like we've we've managed to whittle down our loan. 1520, and we've got 18 more repay. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, this is horrible. I mean. I mean, 1520 plus 750 would be 1,000. If we do another five days, three, four days of working for this loan, right? What I'm thinking is after we do this loan, we take out the basic, after we do five days, right? And we whittle this down to 1,000. We take out the basic loan, right? We take out the basic loan on a seven, six day payment cycle, right? So then we're able to pay off the majority of this loan and then pay this loan back at a better rate and we get less interest. I think that what we'll do is we'll consider that like a credit builder loan. That's what I'm thinking. I think that's really smart. I think if we turn around and we actually treat that as a way to pay off our loan early by taking another loan, that, that'll, that'll, that, that makes sense, right everyone? Right everyone? Right? The best way to pay off one loan is with another. There we go. Let him cook even if it's a... I don't know. I don't think it's overcooked. I think it's a smart play. If we if we pay off one loan with another loan, then it's kind of like a positive and a positive, a negative and a negative equaling a positive, you know? I think that'll work for us. I, I, I genuinely think it will. Take the salt. There goes the single topping for pizza. No, no, no. We'll take out a loan on top of our current loan and then we'll use the first, the second loan to repay the first loan and then the second loan will have a more re aggressive repayment at a lower rate. So we'll kind of be like buying our freedom, you know? It'll be like buying our freedom for a really aggressive amount. and But but we'll be taking out a loan to, to, to get our freedom. So, so our freedom's not really free; it's paid for. But you know, it, it's 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 good. I think I think I think that's that's what the plan is going to be. We're going to we're going to do that if we take out the loan for for in like a couple of days, because then do, you, you get it right. Because we're we're buying a loan with with another loan. <laughs> we're buying a loan with another loan, and then. We'll leverage the loans against each other to 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 make sure that we can afford to live. Um, is there still it's good? There's still the susu. Um, there we go. Five nine nine. He definitely needed caffeine. Yeah, yeah, negative plus a positive is a positive. So, you know, we, we win with that. Uh, how much is how much is peanut butter going for these days? 540, yeah, that's fine. All right, we're open. Ding dong. We got a bunch of refri- We need the Elo pasta. Can we afford the Elo pasta? I am the master of pasta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. I'm good. All right, give me the pasta. And put this here. It's like we're speed running. It's like we're speed running. There we go. 
that's good. People walk in, they go down these aisles. They're like, okay, let's let's get some soda and some milk. Are we out of orange juice? Oh, we're out of orange juice. Okay, buy the Choco Bears. Are we buying oil? Stop buying the cheap oil, sir. Okay, we'll lower the price a little bit on the on the fancy oil. We'll go with like 81. We'll go with... We'll, we'll lower the price all the way down. Oh, buy the fancy oil. Buy the fa buy the fancy oil. Oh, wait, ding that is closed. Um. Okay, so they're they're buying product, they're shifting product, they're making moves and good ones at that. She buys the fancy cola. Oh, you know that she's wife material because she buys the fancy cola, and the rice. She buys the overpriced rice as well. Look at that, seven twenty for rice. Go on, go the whole nine yards. Get the cheese. That's right. Buy all the cheese. Good, good. Go on, get coffee. If you get coffee, I'll wife you on the spot. Okay, no, no. Okay, but look at the look at the size of her order. Like that's a lot of stuff she's ordered there. That's a lot. And we've almost leveled our store again. We need to get rid of this loan that's hanging over our head. It's kind of crippling us. I do enjoy trick, trip, a quick trip through the store. Indeed you do, indeed you do, indeed. The incubus on her shoulder. Look, okay. I think this is considered harassment in some states, Xander. No, 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 no. It's only harassment if you're ugly. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the meme where it's like you know it's like the meme with the people in the office where it's like hello miss would you i would wipe you on the spot if you bought coffee hello human resources and then like the 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 meme where it's like the the, the fly the really like fly handsome guy with like the the, the finger pointing i will wipe you if you buy if you buy coffee oh why yes <laughs> It's like that. It's like me and Bob, except Bob's the handsome guy and and I'm the dude and I'm like the weird dude from the cubicle over. It's like that one. All right, let's open a checkout. Second checkout open. No, it's not. Changed my mind. We need to restock. Oh, lots of people are buying the rice. That's good. Lowering the price on that was a really smart move. They don't know I throw their products around the store like rag dolls. Okay, so we've got enough to pay off our loan and also Bob for the day. Hey, welcome, welcome to the Netherlands. Just joining. What's up? What's up? We're doing good. We're just swooshing our way through here. Look at that. Buy, buy stuff. The bio apple juice is too expensive. How expensive is the bio apple juice? Uh, I guess we can knock it down to... You know what? I think we'll change the price. We'll be a little bit generous. We'll, we'll lower the price of bio apple juice to two ninety nine. There we go. See, I'm a saint. It's one whole cent off. And the checkout's closed. We're not really seeing a customer rush today, which is kind of unfortunate. What do we need to order? We've got... Uh, the, the oil is fine, those are fine, the susu's fine, the bread's fine, the elo's fine. I guess we should order a product we don't have much of. Yeah, we need to order a product we don't have much of. What what kind of product? Mm, you know what? Let's actually be a little bit dicey. Let's go to the management licenses and see how much a... Oh, that is candy, cake, cereal, chocolate bar, and frillion yogurt. Frillion yogurt. Um... That's 550. So we'll have to get about 700 in the bank for that. Tulip. Zanny, it's been forever, lol. How are you? I'm doing good, Tulip. Thank you for asking. We're just running uh, Incumart right now, and people are complaining that my apple juice is too expensive, but I don't think my apple juice is too expensive. It's, it, we're, we're living our best life here. But no, it was really good. I did uh, I did my little ASMR earlier, my, mem my Membi's ASMR, which was cute, and uh, people really enjoyed it. And also, people have been really enjoying uh, getting the, the birthday merchandise that I've been, I've been selling like a champ on and that's really nice i've really enjoyed people buying the the zunderwear the zunderwear is great oh do we, the, the rice needs to top up again people really like the rice Inky Mart's doing okay we're only in a little bit of debt 
like we're in an acceptable amount of debt. Every business has debt. Debt is just oh. debt is just uh, is just us levering potential. Uh, eight oh one, five six seven eight, one. Rice is life true. Zunderwear is great. Bro, I love the Zunderwear. The fact that like Mr. Underhill is has my Zunderwear. He's buying my Zunderwear. Like he's, get, he's getting the Zunderwear bought for him. And I get to turn around and be like, ha, look at that. I'm on my friend's ass. Like, it's cool. It's cool. I really like that Underhill's getting, getting the Zunderwear. Oh, look at you. You're a huge spender. 62.45. Is that confirmed? It, he said it in his, um, in like his last TikTok that, uh, that his partner was getting, uh, the, the, the Zunderwear for him as a gift. And I'm like, that is great. That's a real friend right there. Real friends buy your underwear. Oh, Cola, please pay cash. Thank you. Two sixty nine, one dollar, fifty, sixty, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, and an extra dollar. There you go. One, two. Oh, you like buying soda? Okay. Zero. Thank you. Oh, I can hear Bob busy in the background. This is actually quite a nice experience. The two of us being busy at the same time. There you go. Look at us, Bob. Look at the two of us working together. Two, two regular old workers, you know, charging into the daily grind. The only difference between you and I is I own the business and make all the profit and you get paid below minimum wage. Oh, but we really are brothers in arms in this. Oh, been catching up on the morning coffee talk streams. Rice. Hmm. Oh, the coffee talk is good. The coffee talk is really good. Um, am I looking forward to anything this coming week? I'm going to post my schedule really soon. I'm always the last boy to post the schedule because of my time zone and also like how my, because of the fact that I stream quite a bit, um, the way my streams and timing work out mean that I'm always posting last. But obviously, you know, there's the big Goose Goose Duck collab, which is happening on the Sunday. But, you know, as much as that is fun, um, you know, I'm, I'm sort of just chilling for it. Uh, I don't know what else I'm really planning on. I'm doing another class on Wednesday, which will be good. I always like teaching my classes, which is nice. I'm doing a, a class on how to write. And I think I might start doing classes on how to write different genres. So it's going to be like how to write horror is going to be uh, this week's writing class. Because I know that a lot of people write horror. It's not just specifically for horror, you know. There's something to take away into every genre. But it's always nice to have something educational there, you know. Is there no game audio? Oh my goodness. I went... I went God knows how many hours without game audio and no one noticed. Fuck me. <laughs> Lamau. Oh, well, to be fair, there's not actually like audio in this game. It's just beeps and like ambience. So I'm, su I'm not surprised people didn't notice, you know? I'm not surprised people didn't notice. Hey, what's up? New viewer. Welcome, welcome, new viewer. Come on in. <laughs> Hypnotized by the voice. I was too rambly. I was too rambly. I was just going on constantly. Sound of my voice was more than enough. Damn straight it was. All right. So what we'll do is we're wrapped up here. Uh, this guy's not leaving. Bob, you did good today. You did good, Bob. How much did we make? I feel like we made like 500 in profit. 444. Wonderful. It's great. I love that. Market prices have changed. Sodas up. Uh, powdered sugars up. Powdered sugars up. Bay bay. How much does that go for? Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. That goes for seven. It goes for. Uh, 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 that goes for. Yeah, that goes for six ninety nine now. That goes for six eighty nine. That goes for six ninety. I love that for us. Powdered sugar, what a great thing. And and did the oil go up in price? Oh no, it went down in price. Ew. I guess we can just sell that for what, like four four yeah, four dollars exactly. We'll do that. Oh, what are you doing? Four yeah, that's fine. Okay. 
So we'll just reorder a little bit of stock here. What we'll do is we'll turn around, we'll go over to our bills, we'll pay our bills, we'll pay our rent, we'll turn around, we'll go to our bank, we'll make sure that our bank gets a little bit of payment off of us. Pay the bank, there you go, bish bash bosh, jobs are good. And we look at how much we've got left to pay off, 1440, which isn't great, but we should be able to pay that off in five days. Also, Zilay, welcome to the Nether Branded. And if you've just joined the Nether Branded, there should be a uh, ASMR audio that you haven't listened to yet. Just ready, willing, and waiting. Uh, which I streamed earlier today, which, which is me with my fancy new 3DO mic, which I tuned to Perfectione, by the way, and me playing with your ears for a little bit. So if that is something that you're into or down with, then I can only suggest that you head on over after the stream and have a good old listen to it. And if not, then brrr, you're still here. And hey, Asquoff, thank you for the five gifted membies. Let's go. Thank you, Asquoff. Asquoff, doing, doing just amazingly. Much love, Asquoff. Much love. Let's go. Gifted indeed indeed okay we'll take some of this and we'll take some oil do 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 and we will go with over to here and we will pur purchase that we need more chalky cereal as well but we can live without that we'll go like this just machine gun that onto the shelf do 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 perfect this goes over here grab this get the cheap oil I feel like we maybe need to move the cheap oil to somewhere else in the store. You know, maybe people force people to go buy the fancy oil before they can get to the cheap oil. You know, have them go in, be like, oh, oh, this is what I want. I love how I bought an entire storage area to not use it. Best use of $800 I've ever done. There we go. And... I wonder what's beyond this door. I wonder what's beyond this door. Can we ever unlock this door? Let's see if we can unlock the door. I wonder if we can. Management, growth. Is there an unlock the door? Storage. Ah. Huh. No. Oh, restocker. Restocker. Oh. Wait a minute. Purchase wrap. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can we outsource more of our work to those who, 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 uh, where, where is it? Purchase wrap. Can we outsource our work? Where can we get a purchase rack? Small rack. Wait a minute. Can we outsource more of our work? Wait a minute, if we put this here, you know, the out of sight, out of mind type thing. There we go. Oh, that feels good. That feels good. Can we, can we outsource our work? Could we? Oh, we can. Restock you. And oh, look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. We've got two employees. All right. All right. Look at that. I love that. Now we need to buy some products. What do we need? We're pretty full on products right now. We'll, we'll get some more pasta. We'll go with a little bit of pasta, a little bit of, a little bit of the chalky orange juice, pasta and orange juice. Let's just say pasta and orange juice are always need. All we need, we'll just grab some pasta and then some naranje and that should be good. Now, what do you do? What do you do, sir? What do you do? Do you, I don't know what he does, but, but I, I, I know that I have another hireling now. Put the orange juice here. Just make the entire shelf orange juice. Beautiful. And then we'll go here. Grab this. Get the pasta. Take the pasta here. And then take the remaining pasta off of here. Put it here. Beautiful. And then sit this here. Shop's good to go. You. What, what do you do? What's your thing? What are, What do you do? 
Shout out the random girl that I met in a bar when I was moving through the USA. When I was passing through the state of Texas and she proceeded to sit down and she goes, So like, who are you? And I'm like, my name's, my name's, my name's Zand. I was there minding my own business having a drink. And she goes, yeah, but like, what do you do? I'm like, I, 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 I do voices for a living and I, I travel around. I'm kind of a bit of a traveler right now. And you know, I just sort of do my thing. She's like, yeah, but like, what do you do? And I'm like, uh, well, I, I mean, I, 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 I travel mostly, you know, and I, I, I sort of just go from one thing to another. And why aren't you doing anything? Do I, oh, do I, do I put these here for you? And then you work. No? Oh, yes, I do. Yes, that's how it works. Okay. And she was like, okay, but like, what do you do? And I'm like, I, I don't get your question, madam. I don't get your question. What, what, what do you do? And I'm like, I don't know. What do I do? But like, what do you do? I'm like, I don't know. She's like, I love fashion. I live for fashion. Maybe we could do something together with fashion. I'm like, I, I don't know, madam. She's like, how old are you? And I'm like, uh, 127, 126. And she's like, wow, we're like the same age. And I'm like, that's so cool. You're a demon too. She's like, what do you do though? I can't work with you unless I know what you do. And I'm like, what? I don't know. What do you mean? I'm like, I, I would have preferred if I was trying to get recruited into a cult. Also, you're restocking, right? Big restocker. I'm going to fire you. You got stuck on the first thing I hired you for? You got stuck on restocking rice? I, You got stuck on the first... People these days just don't want to fucking work. All right, let's go. People these days, they just don't want to work. Get out. And leave the rice behind. He took the rice with him when he left. Ungrateful little shit. Uh... He got stuck on the first shelf. <laughs> Kids these days, they just don't want to work. I'm here breaking my back for Inky Martin. He's asking to be carried. Typical. Kind of monster does this. All right. How does it feel? He got fired on his first day because he couldn't cut it with this team, okay? He couldn't cut it at Inky Mart. At Inky Mart. We want people who are ready to go above and beyond. I'm sounding like every toxic employer ever. I'm sounding like every toxic employer in existence ever. Here we want people who are ready to go above and beyond. Here we want people ready to take the initiative. Who are willing to go that extra mile for the team. We have a real team attitude here. He took the rice as payment. He already got paid from me. I am free. No, he doesn't he doesn't get to be free. Freedom's an illusion. The only way he can feel any value in his life is through work. Damn, that was deep. Uh go with go with more flour. He needs me. He needs me. Okay, he doesn't realize how cold this world is. Oh, we need more bread. go. Order more bread. Whoops, excuse me. There we go. Go here. Where's the bread? Where's the bread? Where's the bread? Uh, two breads. Did you need bread? I have bread. Take the bread. There you go, my children. Take the bread. Take it. Feed. Feed upon it. Sandy, you're sounding like a boomer. I'm genuinely sounding like such a boomer. Where I'm like, P people these days, they just don't want to work. They just they just can't be asked to do it. To be fair, I did take a job one time just so I could actually get... Okay, so I took a job one time because of the fact that they said the painting, the, the training was paid. So I, so I joined. I did the two days of paid training and then I immediately quit. And, <laughs> and I got the two days of paid training and just walked off. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, well, we'll take more rice basmati considering our last employee stole from us. 
127, you're way older than the boomer. Exactly. Who do you think the boomers learned how to do it from? Let's go with the salt. We'll go with the rice. And I'm dying? Yeah, but no, no, okay, you, you you turn around and you pay peanuts, right? Then I'm gonna turn up, do your training, which was literally two days of sitting there watching like three instructional videos, do like conversations of how, how to talk to people, and then I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna take your, 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 your little CPR certification, and then I'm gonna leave, because you deserve it. Okay, they, they get what they get. Put the product there. This can go here. It's actually a really good way to store product. We need cheese. Flick the lights on. Where's the cheese? Should have some cheese here. Two cheeses. Good. Go. Open this up. Cheese can go... Mm, top shelf. There we go. And another cheese. 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 Good. Good, we got, the, we got the cheese, we got the cheese. I bet they never did pay training after you, they shouldn't have. They shouldn't have. <laughs> Wait, that's a really good straddle. Right? Like, they turn around and they're like, because they did the whole thing, where it was, it was, it was essentially a lot of, there was like a bit of a pyramid structure going on. And I was like, okay, okay, listen, 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 I see what you're doing, okay? So I'm going to use this to my own advantage, which is get the pay training, get the CPR certification, which is now worn out, and then... Turn around and just say, I'm done. Goodbye. Listen, they, turn, they, they, they turned around and they asked if... They asked if I'd be... Okay, so you know, you know a company is shady, right? You know, this is one thing. You know a company is shady when they turn around and they say, we're only hiring a part-time employee who's only willing to work, who, but they must be willing to work up to like 40 hours a week, which I think is something like an, it's, or like, it's something they ask like two hours shy of like a full-time employee. And I'm like, I see what you're doing here, you pathetic little cretin of a human. I see what you're doing here, okay? We want a part-time employee who's willing to work two hours short of part of full-time. I know what you're doing. I might be an incubus, but my head is not filled with... Anyway, I... right, I see it. So I'm going to take you for all that you're worth. Goodbye. Do we need that powdered sugar? Do we need that powdered sugar? We need more, we need more powdered sugar. Powdered sugar. Uh, uh, we need more uh, chalky cereal. Ah, it's closed. They took all the chalky cereal. Look at all these people. Oh, this is going to be a rush. This is the nighttime rush. Uh, I open the checkout. Open the checkout. Now, there's a whole bunch of people. Um. I don't think they're by. Are they stuck? No way. Maybe we should move this to here. See if that does something. Uh, they're stuck. Um, we'll move you to, to here. Maybe that'll free a couple of you. Oh, there was one thing that I did before where I grabbed this and lifted it outside of the supermarket. And then... No? No, they're just not into that. Cool. Well, good night, folks. There you go. They, re they really want that non-existent susu cereal. Oh, the farin flour went up. Bob, you're the only one who's been staying by my side out of the employees and all this. The Netherlings are always by my side. But but Bob, you, ugh, you've been keeping things locked down in the store. When this is done, I'm going to give you a raise. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Why would I do that? April Fools. All right, we'll go with... Um... You know, I feel like we could just buy, we've got the peanut butter here. Oh, we need to move this back. 
See, I'm thinking we could put it like here, right? Oh, we could go for like the ultra claustrophobic build for our store. There we go. I want to get this just tight enough. I need this store to feel the right kind of oppressive, you know? The store needs to feel just oppressive. Yes, there we go. When people walk through the aisles, there's just enough room for them to get what they need and they feel kind of pressured to take things off of the shelves to give themselves more space. That's good. And then we can fit in, we could fit in another two aisles here. We totally could. We can make people's lives so much work better with all of this. Okay, so we need to order pasta, flour, this will probably be our last day. Let's say, what are we thinking? I'm thinking we order, we order a little bit of pasta. We throw in some of this, a little bit of flour, two of the flour, um, one of the coffee, one of the tea. And that should be a good purchase. Oh, that's so much stuff. Okay, here's the tea. Oh, we've also got stuff in storage we can use. we go get the eye level stuff grab the pasta pasta goes here on this shelf this is now the pasta shelf the susu should go up here good and we'll take the three off of this bottom shelf because that's not selling there and up here it seems to sell quicker like that seems to be a prime time slot for us and then the susu also needs to go here. Ba -ba 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 nice. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, so there's the susu. We can put this on the storage shelf. Actually, we can see what else is on the storage shelf. Uh, we have... Oh, we have rice basmati just sat here. Oh, look at that. Okay, we've got that all stocked up. Nice. So we can rotate stuff out that's on the storage shelves. And we've got a full pack of rice basmati. Nice. We invested in our future here at Inky Mart. Which is why you should invest in us, so we can invest in yours. Okay, grab this. Peanut butter. Here we go. Go around here. Polish off the line. Nice, 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 nice. Grab some of this. Grab the pasta, paziti, pasta, pasta, pasta. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's actually only eight, but I counted more. Okay, and then we got the chopnik. Chopnik goes in here. Three rows of cereal. Love this. Love it. It's so satisfying seeing this place get slowly more and more stocked. Honestly, it so is. What can Inky Mart do for me that others can't? We have the hottest checkout, boys. That's how we market ourselves. We're like, we have the hottest, we have the hottest checkout, boys. That's it. That's that's our that's our marketing. Put this here, and what, what were these? Oh, yes, the flower. Put the flower up here. That means, uh, yeah, but well, yeah. It might mean only myself, maybe, maybe. Nice, there we go. And do we still have the fancy oil? Yeah, we still got the fancy oil, fancy oil. Oh, we don't have any refrigerated stuff. We need orange juice, apple juice. We need all the juices. Okay, so we need uh, we need one milk, one soda, one apple juice, one orange juice, one cola, and one soda. And that brings a total to $90. So we have to make $200 today or we're broke. We'll put the soda here. And we'll have them be side by side. We'll have them be like little sister sister racks. That'll be good. And then the colas can go here. Pop shelf, the fancy cola. There we go. And what I'll do is I'll flip the sign on the way back in once we do the orange juice. And there's no orange juice from here we need to take. Nope. So we'll flip the sign. Get the customers coming in, let the day start. 
The apple juice, we don't have anywhere to put the apple juice apart from here. Put the apple juice here. Oh, this is looking so nicely organized now. I actually love how nicely organized this refrigerator looks. Oh, I love this. This is scratching a part of my brain that really needed to be scratched. Okay, this is good. We'll put the, the turco colas here. Oh, this is, this is the symmetry. The symmetry, everyone. The fucking symmetry. Look at it. Oh, look at it. That's so good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, gosh, that's so good. All right, the milk. The milk can go can go uh, on, on here. Oh, that's also satisfying. That's also satisfying. Look at that. He goes for the oil. Three oils. Look at that. Goes for the... Oh, look. Look at you. And you go for the chopnicks. Oh, and he goes for the two of the mil He's a big spender. He's a big, big spender. All right, this is good. And he he, he didn't go to me. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That, that's, 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 that's fine, I guess. Here we go. Here we go. How much are you paying? 59. Let's go. 59.75. 59.75, baby. D no, no, five, seven, it's seven, five, there you go, there you go, couldn't find Aot bottled water, that's fine, once we get over 200, we'll start buying more products in for the day, okay, if we'll do that, actually, we might as well buy some bottled water now, I changed my mind, I lied, I lied, uh, we'll get two lots of bottled water, add that to the cart, go, go here, purchase, no one's going to come ding me, are they? Maybe they will. Ah, oh, that's fine. We'll get the bottled water and put it here. Cool. And they're, they're, they're all going to go to... They're all going to go to Bob because he's their favorite. Nope. Oh, oh no, it's the doctor lady. Hi, doctor lady. You're back. Thank you. Uh, 30 cents. Oh. There you go, madam. And you've got... Oh, you've got a bunch of stuff. Chopnik's sodas and how it's uh, 55 35 okay she's nice i like her i like the doctor she's very sweet i've never interacted with her properly but she seems like a very kindly doctor you know the ones that actually like are good to you xander is the manager Xander is the manager. I am. I am the most manager ever. Hey, what do you want? Two bottles of water? What? Why bother just coming here for two bottles? Of well, fine, it's your money. Waste it how you want. All right, we've got that. We kind of filled the rest of this up. We'll, we'll, we'll top this off. And then... There we go. They can wait an extra second. Hi. Yep. Inky Mart. Thank you. How much cash do you need? Nine cents. There you go. You, sir. One, two, three, four, five. Look at you wanting things. Uh, 20, 58. 20.58. Good. There you go. Get on out of here, you scamp. Okay, what else do we need? We're doing really good so far today. We're having a lot of customers come through. Uh, we're low on peanut butter. We're out of... Whoop. Sorry, sir. Uh, oh, we've got... This is a big shop day. Uh, there you go, 15. We need the Elo spaghetti. All right, we'll grab this. We'll go for the Elo spaghetti. Where's the Elo? Elo, 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 there it is. We'll buy the Elo really quickly. There we go. That should get delivered now. Grab this. The Elo spaghetti should go here. Good. And if we get a ding, we will be able to run back to the checkout straight away. Elo spaghetti. There we go. Okay, what else are we missing? We've got the orange juice. We've got the the stock. Maybe it's how we've set up the stock. We need more pasta. We need more pasta. We're almost out of pasta. Uh, go over here. Woo, woo, woo. Pasta, 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 pasta. Uh, there we go. Buy this. Beautiful. Okay. The pasta's just waiting for us. There we go. And one more. No one dinged me. They've all gone to Bob. How shocking. 
Oh, I actually closed my checkout. That's why. Ah, oh, there I was. Oh, I wonder why no one's calling me. I have my phone on mute. All right. Oh, madam. What do you want? What have you got? Oh, big order for you today. All of the sodas, the susus, the the rice. That's 70, 71, 11. Look at that. 71, 11. Lovely. Love that for you. Great. Not a day over 20. Okay. Oh, the, the nice doctor again. Hello. Hello. It's good to see you. Uh, 49, 78. Nice. And then 20, 22, 27. Nice. Here we go. Bob is full of... Why is Bob... Oh, no. Actually, wait. Lights on. <laughs> yep. I'm here. I'm here, good sir. I'm here, good sir. Uh, 41. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Couldn't find milk. Oh, we need to order milk. We need to move. Uh, we're making so much money today. Uh, two things of milk. We're making so much money today. We made almost a thousand today. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Milk, 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 milk. Uh, we'll put that in here. Nice. We got dinged. Coming through. Beep, beep. And how much is this? Uh, you paid with you paid with a large increment. How dare you, madam? There we go. Oh, Incumart doing numbers, everyone. Bob is secretly the the biggest streamer of that universe. True, that's Bob's canon. Bob is actually a giant streamer. Bob is their XQC. Uh, here we go, and let's fill up the the bottom completely with milk. That way we get that nice symmetry. There we go. Come on, come on. Let's break a thousand. Let's break a thousand. Oh, what is this? Pasta. Did anyone else get pasta? I think someone got pasta. There we go. Oop. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck on the door, but I'm on my way. Here we go. Yep. Don't worry. I'm very fast once I'm on the till. Eight dollars thirty-five. Six, seven, eight, and then you need 30 cents. One, two, three. Good to go. What do you need? One, two, three. Oh, you're getting all the cheese. The overpriced cheese. I love that for you. Cheese board. Wine and cheese night. We should have a wine and cheese night. Uh, one, two, and then one, two. Good. Okay, great. One, two. Oh, you're getting all the tea as well. You love your overpriced tea. You seem like a good man. $60, $60.45. Let's go. Straight through. Get on out this door. Okay, love that. $1,200. Bob, look at you. Look at you and me, baby. We're making it. We're making it big time. We're getting it big time. Great. Love that. 27, 56, 27. This is a record profits day. Oh, look at... We're going. You couldn't find that. We sold out of the pasta spaghetti already? Did we sell out of the pasta spaghetti already? We did. Oh, straight out, straight out sold of the... Uh, we can't order more because of the time. Look at that beautiful profit. Big money. Wine and parmesan stream when? That's a wonder. Oh, that's actually such a good idea. I should buy a charcuterie board for a stream. Oh, wine and a charcuterie board for a stream. That's a fucking beautiful idea. That's actually a beautiful idea. That would be such a good hand cam. Like a cheese and biscuit charcuterie board. With like some wine. That's actually an awesome idea. We could have a little wine and cheese pie. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Oh, Amy, you fucking genius. That's good. I gotta say your I I say, say I gotta say you got props for that. Look at that. And those two are stuck wandering. So we're gonna we're gonna close up for the for the day. Ding ding. Balance plus thirteen hundred dollars profit. Thirteen thirty four profit. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. There we go. Oh, and just like that, Incumard is back on firm footing once again. In fact, let's go a step further. We might actually be able to pay off our loan. Twelve eighty. We're right next to. We're right next to paying off our loan. One day of work and we'll have our loan paid off. Let's go. Let's go. And on that note, on, on that beautiful, beautiful note, we're going to just jump back over to here. Ha <laughs> ha.
<laughs> and with that, thank you all for coming out to today's stream. It's been really great having you all here while I've got the opportunity to serve up some, some absolute deals at Inkimart. I've really enjoyed all of this, so be sure to drop a like, maybe subscribe if you haven't, but either way, it really helps out if you just, if you just drop the little thumbs up. I've loved having you here. And of course, a huge thank you to all of my netherlings and the nether branded who have stopped by. I really had fun, and I'll be dropping my schedule later on tonight, dictating what the coming week will bring. It's got some hijinks, it's got some fun, it's got some hilarity. But all in all, I think you'll enjoy it. I'm still figuring things out, but who knows? <laughs> Until then, I will be back actually tomorrow. I'm not taking a day off tomorrow. I'm working tomorrow. I'm taking my day off on Tuesday instead. So you're getting you're getting me another day in a row. <laughs> so until then, much love, and I will see all of you far sooner than you think. Until the next, bye-bye for now. Mwah. <laughs>